Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Welcome to C103 and Good Guys Radio TV Sports Special Presentation. I'm Don Bowles, along with Brett Spencer. We're at the Convo, Ohio University, the Convocation Center, Division Three, Southeast District. Semifinals, boys basketball. Up next, here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Daggummit. Hey, honey, have you called Robert's Paving about coming out to fix these potholes in our road yet? No, not yet. Why do you ask? Daggummit. Oh, no reason. Robert's Paving Incorporated in Hillsboro, offering commercial and residential asphalt paving in southwest Ohio. Roadways, parking lots, driveways, asphalt seal coating, Robert's Paving does it all. Call today at 937-442-5595. Robert's Paving says good luck to all of our Shack teams this year. Daggummit. Big box home improvement stores don't brag about their customer service and knowledgeable staff. And that's because they rarely have either one. Do you really want electrical and plumbing advice from a person who was assembling patio furniture yesterday? Nope. Get what you need from the pros at West Union Electric and Plumbing Supply. They now have an expanded hardware line to complement the electrical and plumbing parts. Plus, handy tips and advice to help you get the job done. West Union Electric and Plumbing Supply, one block south of the courthouse on Walnut Street in West Union. Gas mileage is very important when the price of gas just keeps going up. And if you're driving around on old worn out tires, you're wasting gas. Vehicle out of alignment? That's another gas sucker. Check engine light on? Yep, that's just more gas down the tailpipe. Get the most out of every gallon of gas with a visit to Tanya's Tires, Service and Rental in West Union. Located on Lloyd Road between West Union High School and West Union Elementary. Call 937-544-4106 to schedule your appointment today. Trust Tanya's care for your auto repair at Tanya's Tire Service and Rental in West Union. Now offering alignments and service for tractor tires. ProGen's next generation technology flooring is designed to stand up to the demands of modern life and it's available now at the Winchester Carpet Outlet. Because ProGen is durable, waterproof, dimensionally stable and easy to install, it can be used in any room, including rooms that are most prone to moisture and spills like kitchens and baths. For top quality flooring, service and selection at prices that'll floor you, visit the Winchester Carpet Outlet just off State Route 32 on Tri-County Road, just a few miles west of Winchester, Ohio and online at Winchester Carpet Outlet. Outlet.com. At North Adams Green Devils taking on Ironton, the Ironton Tigers. We'll tell you all about both these ball clubs. Anytime you get to this level, should be good basketball teams. And that's what we have here a matchup between two very good teams. And again, the Ironton Tigers versus the North Adams Green Devils uh, as uh, District Semifinal Division Three Southeast District Boys Basketball. Now, before I do that, though, as we do most of the times after before these games, we're going to talk a little bit about our All Star Game. And in just a few moments, I'm going to be announcing the cheerleaders and the boys teams for our All Star Game. What am I talking about? Well, if you're new to our uh, uh, listeners' areas and just don't happen to know, but most people do. First of all, it's it's mandatory attendance of this game by anybody listening to me as well as all your neighbors, friends, and uh, even if they're not your friends, uh, we want you to make sure they attend. March 22nd is when the game is. It'll be at North Adams High School. March 22nd, North Adams High School. We will have a girls senior basketball team. We will have a boys senior basketball team. We will also have cheerleaders. And we'll even have entertainment. We'll have a hot shot contest, a slam dunk contest, you name it, we got it happening, and that'll be uh, that'll be at uh, March 22nd, North Adams High School. Now, there's an important part of this that I want to make sure that uh, you know about that uh, is uh, right now very, very pressing as far as time goes, and that's at halftime of the boys' game, we'll be giving away thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of scholarships, and I mean that, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of scholarships. It's cash. We don't even expect you to put it towards school. All you have to do is be pursuing an advanced education doesn't have to be necessarily college it can be technical school whatever advanced education and you have to be a shack athlete southern hills athletic conference athletics it is not a basketball scholarship you can have played any sport we don't care soccer volleyball track basketball baseball chilling you name it 75 percent of it is based upon uh your athletic accomplishments and 25 percent of it is based upon your academics and extracurricular activities Seniors only may apply. Make sure you get your, your scholarship application into us this week at C103. Your athletic directors have copies of the application. Your guidance counselors have them. Make sure you fill it out and get it in. 
We'll take a break. We'll be back. I'm going to be announcing the cheerleaders and the boys team right after this on Good Guys Radio, TV, and C103. We've been growing since 1946. As your Kubota dealer, our focus is to help you grow today and into the future. Stop by one of our locations today, visit with our folks, and see our entire lineup of Kubota products. Our business is helping you grow. Back to tractor. Southern Ohio is nationally known as the hot spot for trophy whitetail deer hunting. That's why the Dickey Group Realtors receive multiple calls every day from whitetail deer hunters who are looking to purchase land in Southern Ohio. So if you have property, no matter how large or small, the Dickey Group Realtors want to talk to you. It's deer season right now, so strike while the iron is hot. Call Jeff Dickey today at 937-393-7222 or visit thedickeygroup.com. Insurance protection for you and your family. John Wood Insurance has helped thousands of families with their insurance needs since 1891. For service you can trust, contact John Wood Insurance in Georgetown at 937-378-4124, in Owensville at 513-732-2600, in West Union at 937-544-5505, or in Peebles at 937-587-2246. That's John Wood Insurance. Team sports teach the young men and women of our community how to work together to achieve a common goal. They also reinforce other character traits, such as respect, dedication, and self-discipline. The family of Wallace Thompson Funeral Homes with locations in Peebles, Seaman, and Winchester salute the teams of the Southern Hills Athletic Conference and wish you the best of luck the family of Wallace Thompson Funeral Homes, providing the care and service that you and your family deserve. Who is Barry Chevrolet? Why don't you ask your friends and neighbors? Because after 70 years and four generations in the automotive industry, odds are we've made a happy customer out of somebody you know. Hard-working, proud Americans drive Chevrolets, and that's why we sell them at Barry's. Hats off to everybody driving a Silverado truck. You're my kind of people. Barry Chevrolet, your best deal dealer. Welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I'm Don Bowles, with Brett Spencer. It's now time to name our 2023-24 All-Star Shaq All-Star Game cheerleaders as well as the boys team. We're going to start things off with the cheerleaders. They're going to be coached by Paula Hughes from Eastern High School. The cheerleaders include from Eastern, Riley Kohler, Lauren McIntosh, McKenna Michael, Reagan Rinchin, and Candace Bowler. From Fairfield, it'll be Kennedy Zink, Sydney Hooper, Avery Teeters, and Emma Souders. From Fayetteville, Emily McKinney, Gracie Wilson. From Lynchburg Clay High School, Morgan Dale, Abby Manning, Riley Turner, Samantha Mary, and Autumn Wilkin. From Manchester, Jenna Campbell, Lexi Nixon, Alex Jones, Mary Grace Wickerham. From North Adams, Ariana Newman, Kyla Mahan, uh, Mahan, excuse me. Peebles, Amber Scott, McCarley Cooper, Kylie Shoemaker, uh, Mackenzie McFarland, Ellie Stevens, and Kennedy Dick. From Ripley, McKenna Scott, and uh, but she will be unable to attend. West Union, Corinne Blanton, Elena Kingsolver, and Kylie Sylvia. And from White Oak. Harley Vance, and Kiara Simpson. All those girls will be participating as cheerleaders in our C-103 Shaq All-Star Game on March 22nd. Now, Brent, let's talk about the uh, boys' All-Star teams. The coaches for this year, and they earn the right to be here, uh, you have to either be the uh, first-place winning coach or second-place winning coach in your respective division. I'll do the uh, – one. I do the top two? The top two, Quentin Williams from Fairfield and Rob Buechler from, Fair, from Eastern. Then down bowls, it's going to be Nathan Copas with North Adams, DJ McComas of Fayetteville, and Austin Kingsolver of Manchester. There we go. Players, they include Weston Blair from White Oak. From White Oak as well, Dakota Clift. From North Adams, Branson Copas. Hayden Countryman from Peebles. Connor Darnell from Manchester. Mr. Gabe Fouch, Fairfield. Jackson French from Ripley. Also Fairfield, Larkin Friend. From Ripley, Ty Fife. Peebles, it'll be Gage Grooms. Lou Caney from Eastern. West Union has Isaac Harding. Wyatt Hopped from Eastern. 
Fayetteville, it's going to be Chase Hendricks. Cody Hassler from North Adams. Trey House of Fairfield. Caden Jones from Fayetteville. Manchester will be Drew Kennedy. From Eastern, Carson McCord. Cade Miller from Fairfield. From Ripley, Owen New. West Union, it'll be Brennan Pollitt. And rounding out the roster, it'll be Caleb Tippas from Fayetteville. Uh, we had uh, we announced the girls' games yesterday before the district finals from Waverly, uh, the girls' teams. We will be announcing those again uh, later this week as we continue coverage of tournament action here on C103 and Good Guys Radio TV. But for right now, that's the way it works. March 22nd, North Adams High School. Plan on it. you got to be there. We'll be right back. We've got more as we continue the Southern Hills Community Bank Tip-Off Show here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Our beliefs matter. They're reflected in our words and actions. At First State Bank, we believe in treating people well and have since 1884. Listening, caring, looking out for each other. It's what people deserve. It's what a real local bank does. While lots of things have changed over the years, our belief in you hasn't. First State Bank. Built on belief. Snap. Girl. Snap. Girl. Snap. Oh, that's your family's stomach hungry for dinner. And the best way to tame that savage beast is by feeding it a beast pizza from Snappy Tomato Pizza. Beast pizza. The beast pizza is equal to three large pizzas. Get one with one topping, only $26.99. Or get the junior beast, bigger than an extra large, with one topping, only $15.99. For fast, snappy delivery, go to snappytomato.com. That's the sound of your truck losing you money. Whether you're a major trucking operation or an independent owner, you're losing business. Let me give you some advice. Call Willie and Son Trucking. Their certified Caterpillar, Cummings, and Detroit experts can get your truck moving so you can get back to doing business. Call Willie and Son Trucking for an overhaul or glider kit rebuild at 937-763-9521. Keep your business rolling with Willie and Son Trucking. to prove to myself that I could go to college and get my degree. What if I went to Southern State? What if I'm able to go and become that nurse or that lawyer or that teacher? Southern State Community College allows students to rise above the circumstances that they're surrounded by and become something more than they ever dreamed possible. Ladies and gentlemen, Southern Hills Community Bank tip-off show. Again, I'm Don Bowles, well as Brad Spencer. Results from yesterday. Sorry to say the Fayetteville Lady Rockets uh, ended their tournament run at district final level. What a nice season they had uh, as Fort Laramie knocked them off in at Troy, Ohio, 64-17. Ripley boys, Ripley Blue Jays also ended their tournament run yesterday. They were defeated by Cincinnati College Prep, final score 66-36. But... Uh, Yesterday morning or yesterday early afternoon at Waverly High School, it was the North Adams Lady Green Devils winning a district championship 47 to 27 over a very good South Point Lady Pointers ball club. Again, North Adams 47, South Point 27. North Adams moves into play next Wednesday at Logan High School in the district, excuse me, and the regional Sweet 16. Now, later last night, it was Fairfield, the Lions, knocking off Manchester. Uh, our home Manchester Greyhounds. Sorry to say we had to lose them, but Fairfield Lions move on. They'll play here at the Condo, Convo on Friday night in a district championship. Congratulations to the Lions, of course, and uh, the North Adams Green Devils, Lady Green Devils as well, as we continue our tournament trail. Our game here, North Adams takes on Ironton, but we'll take a quick break. We'll be back after this, and uh, we'll talk more about what's happening here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Welcome to Jerry Haig Motors in Hillsboro, your local Chevrolet dealer for over 50 years. I am Steve Haig, owner, along with my twin daughters, Mindy and Mandy. We operate our family-owned business. We take care of our customers like friends and family. If you need a new Chevrolet or pre-owned vehicle, service, parts, or body shop, think of Jerry Haig Motors in Hillsboro. Proudly supporting the youth of our community. Stop in today for a great deal. Trade-ins welcome, financing available to qualified buyers. 
Do you have a roofing or siding project? At Higgins, they manufacture steel roofing and siding every business day. With 17 colors in stock and 70,000 pieces of trim, they are prepared to ship your project immediately. Remember Higgins for your 40-year warranted, Energy Star compliant, American-made steel roofing and siding. Located seven miles west of Hillsboro on US Route 50 and on AC Avenue, just off 35 in Jackson. Call 800-782-4239 or visit them on the web at HigginsRoofing.com. So I thought you quit. I tried. You know that thing can blow up in your face, right? We just watched a video in class about how nicotine can mess up the way your brain develops. <laughs> That's the last thing you need. But for real, you should probably tell your parents. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, can you come with me? Yeah, I got you. Let's go. It's almost here. Copas for another long three. Wow. The biggest game of the year. Three-point shot on the buzzer. It's oh! up. It's good! The 39th Annual C103 Shaq Senior All-Star Games are coming Friday, March 22nd. Join us at North Adams High School for a night full of basketball action. Featuring the girls and boys all-star games, all-star cheerleaders, hot shot and slam dunk contests, and more. Doors open at 5. The first games tip off at 6 p.m. Be there. From the ashes of one child. Well, as we speak, it's the Minford Falcons taking on Fairland, the Fairland Dragons. Uh, why uh, would, should you be interested in that? Well, this team, whoever wins this ball game, will go on to play the winner of the next game. And, of course, we'd like to hope that's going to be the North Adams Green Devils. So this is a pretty important ball game if you're a North Adams fan. And currently there's only 56 seconds to go on the clock, and it is Minford leading Fairland 57-45. Now, Minford defeated North Adams earlier in the season. But at this level, I don't think that makes a whole lot of difference. Uh, I talked to, North, uh, talked to Nathan Copas about it earlier in the year, and uh, he seems to be pretty confident, uh, not necessarily automatic, that they can beat Minford, but that they can uh, compete and they still can be in it and win the ball game if Minford should be the winner, which it looks like they will be, as well as if uh, North Adams should move on and win tonight, which, of course, we hope they do. We'll take another quick break. We'll be back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Daggummit. Hey, honey, have you called Roberts Paving about coming out to fix these potholes in our road yet? No, not yet. Why do you ask? Daggummit. Oh, no reason. Roberts Paving Incorporated in Hillsboro, offering commercial and residential asphalt paving in southwest Ohio. Roadways, parking lots, driveways, asphalt seal coating, Roberts Paving does it all. Call today at 937-442-5595. Roberts Paving says good luck to all of our Shack teams this year. Daggummit. Big box home improvement stores don't brag about their customer service and knowledgeable staff. And that's because they rarely have either one. Do you really want electrical and plumbing advice from a person who was assembling patio furniture yesterday? Nope. Get what you need from the pros at West Union Electric and Plumbing Supply. They now have an expanded hardware line to complement the electrical and plumbing parts. Plus, handy tips and advice to help you get the job done. West Union Electric and Plumbing Supply, one block south of the courthouse on Walnut Street in West Union. Gas mileage is very important when the price of gas just keeps going up. And if you're driving around on old worn out tires, you're wasting gas. Vehicle out of alignment? That's another gas sucker. Check engine light on? Yep, that's just more gas down the tailpipe. Get the most out of every gallon of gas with a visit to Tanya's Tires, Service and Rental in West Union. Located on Lloyd Road between West Union High School and West Union Elementary. Call 937-544-4106 to schedule your appointment today. Trust Tanya's care for your auto repair at Tanya's Tire Service and Rental in West Union. Now offering alignments and service for tractor tires. ProGen's next generation technology flooring is designed to stand up to the demands of modern life. And it's available now at the Winchester Carpet Outlet. Because ProGen is durable, waterproof, dimensionally stable, and easy to install, it can be used in any room, including rooms that are most prone to moisture and spills, like kitchens and baths. For top quality flooring, service, and selection at prices that'll floor you, visit the Winchester Carpet Outlet, just off State Route 32 on Tri-County Road, just a few miles west of Winchester, Ohio, and online at Winchester Carpet Outlet outlet.com. 
And ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, the game is finished. The one in front of us. Final score 58-45. And Brett, this Minford ball club, uh, both Fairland and Minford, pretty good basketball teams, aren't they? Both very, very talented, uh, very well balanced. Uh, Minford, uh, in fact, they trailed at halftime, trailed at the first quarter break. Tightened it up at the third quarter break and then just kind of went away in that fourth quarter away from Fairland. Well, yeah, it's specific to uh, Brett's notes here. Fairland led 10-7 to at the first quarter break. At the half, they led 24-18. And I, I did not get to watch much of, much of it, but what little bit I did see in the first half, they were doing okay with Menford, weren't they? Seems to be doing fine with Menford. Or, uh, the Menford has a couple big boys that uh, really came on in that fourth quarter. At the three-quarter mark, uh, Fair, Fairland led Menford 37-36. And you a better perspective than I do, difference in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter was, it looked to me like Fairland got a little tired. Uh, the point guard play slacked up a little bit. There was a great clear out block down here by uh, Minford. And uh, from there they went on an 8-0 run. And that really changed. And the fans got back into the game for Minford. And that changed the whole uh, momentum in the context of the game. Final, final score, 58-45. To put it in perspective, North Adams is the number three seed here in the tournament. Minford the number two seed. So not a huge big surprise that Minford wins that ball game. And just uh, FYI, by the way, North Emerson number three seed. Ironton, the team they're about to play, is the number 11 seed. Who's the number one seed? Number one seed is Wheelersburg. I'll be darned. Thank you, Don So uh, we will take another quick break. We'll be back. The Southern Hills Community Bank Tip-Off Show continues right after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Our We've been growing since 1946. As your Kubota dealer, our focus is to help you grow today and into the future. Stop by one of our locations today, visit with our folks, and see our entire lineup of Kubota products. Our business is helping you grow. Tractor. Southern Ohio is nationally known as the hot spot for trophy whitetail deer hunting. That's why the Dickey Group Realtors receive multiple calls every day from whitetail deer hunters who are looking to purchase land in Southern Ohio. So if you have property, no matter how large or small, the Dickey Group Realtors want to talk to you. It's deer season right now, so strike while the iron is hot. Call Jeff Dickey today at 937-393-7222 or visit thedickeygroup.com. Insurance protection for you and your family. John Wood Insurance has helped thousands of families with their insurance needs since 1891. For service you can trust, contact John Wood Insurance in Georgetown at 937-378-4124, in Owensville at 513-732-2600, in West Union at 937-544-5505, or in Peebles at 937-587-2246. That's John Wood Insurance. Team sports teach the young men and women of our community how to work together to achieve a common goal. They also reinforce other character traits such as respect, dedication, and self-discipline. The family of Wallace Thompson Funeral Homes with locations in Peebles, Seaman, and Winchester salute the teams of the Southern Hills Athletic Conference and wish you the best of luck. The family of Wallace Thompson Funeral Homes, providing the care and service that you and your family deserve. And the Southern Hills Community Bank tip-off show once again. And I'm going to regress. You heard me announce, I uh, heard Brett and I announce the cheerleaders and the uh, coaches and, and the like for and the boys team for the uh, C-13 Shack All-Star team. I am going to go ahead and quickly uh, repeat for you the girls team as well so everybody can be aware of that. They deserve uh, uh, an opportunity on this stage tonight. We announced them yesterday morning, but that's okay. We'll announce them a second time. The coaches, Rob Davis from North Adams, Ron Harris from White Oak, Corey Rommel from Fayetteville, and Winnie Lewis from Lynchburg Clay. The players include Ellie Attinger from Fayetteville, Riley Barr from Peebles, Ella Berry from Lynchburg Clay, Emily Belmont from Eastern, from North Adams, Harley Brand, Shauna Brandt from Manchester, Lydia Carr from White Oak, Cadence Carroll from Peebles, Faith Donnelly from Fairfield, Macy Etchen from Lynchburg Clay, Kenley Finn from Ripley, Jersey Fulton from Ripley, Madison Gould from Eastern, also from Eastern, Andy Grimes, from White Oak, Bree Hill. From Ripley, Elena Hutchinson. From Peebles, Peyton Johnson. Kenley Jones from North Adams. Emma Litzinger from Eastern. From Lynchburg Clay, Jade Massey. 
from White Oak, Molly McMullen. Jenna Mobley from Eastern, Kelsey Monteith from White Oak. Also from White Oak, Jaylee Parr. From North Adams, Taylor Shelton. From Ripley, Brooke Sims. From White Oak, Madison Thompson. And rounding out the roster from Lynchburg Clay, Addison West. We'll take another break. Brett will join me. We'll talk to you a little bit about this Lynchburg, this, uh, excuse me, Ironton Ball Club right after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Who is Barry Chevrolet? Why don't you ask your friends and neighbors? Because after 70 years and four generations in the automotive industry, odds are we've made a happy customer out of somebody you know. Hard-working, proud Americans drive Chevrolets, and that's why we sell them at Barry's. Hats off to everybody driving a Silverado truck. You're my kind of people. Barry Chevrolet, your best deal dealer. Our beliefs matter. They're reflected in our words and actions. At First State Bank, we believe in treating people well and have since 1884. Listening, caring, looking out for each other. It's what people deserve. It's what a real local bank does. While lots of things have changed over the years, our belief in you hasn't. First State Bank, built on belief. Snap, Grr, snap, Grr. Oh, that's your family's stomach hungry for dinner. And the best way to tame that savage beast is by feeding it a beast pizza from Snappy Tomato Pizza. Beast pizza. The beast pizza is equal to three large pizzas. Get one with one topping, only $26.99. Or get the junior beast, bigger than an extra large, with one topping, only $15.99. For fast, snappy delivery, go to snappytomato.com. That's the sound of your truck losing you money. Whether you're a major trucking operation or an independent owner, you're losing business. Let me give you some advice. Call Willie & Son Trucking. Their certified Caterpillar, Cummings, and Detroit experts can get your truck moving so you can get back to doing business. Call Willie & Son Trucking for an overhaul or glider kit rebuild at 937-763-9521. Keep your business rolling with Willie & Son Trucking. Welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I'm Don Bowles. We're at uh, Ohio University, the Convocation Center. Uh, and it's uh, tournament action, Division Three, uh, from uh, the Convocation Center. Uh, most of you probably know where we are, but just in case, we're in Athens, Ohio, of course. It's North Adams taking on the Ironton Tigers. Uh, North Adams boys, as a matter of fact. Uh, this is a Division Three district semifinal basketball game. Now, the winner of this ball game will move on to play on the ninth. That's, uh, uh, check that, excuse me, I just told you the wrong place. Uh, and they will be playing on the, uh, yes, the ninth at 6 p.m. Uh, here at the Convocation Center. And again, as we said, uh, we'll be playing Minford uh, would be who they play. And at that point, they would move on. Now, on Wednesday night, we'll be on the air. It's a 6 o'clock game. We'll be on the air. It will be. The North Adams Lady Green Devils playing in the Sweet 16 regional semifinal. Now, why is that? Well, because the girls start one week earlier in the season, so their state term is one week ahead, and, of course, everything in the cycle is ahead. So they are at a regional level there in the Sweet 16. And uh, then, of course, on Friday night, 
Fairfield. Uh, the Fairfield Lions will play as uh, well in a district final from here at the Convocation Center, and that will be, we'll have that here on C103 and Good Guys Radio 2 at Radio TV as well. So uh, make sure you stay tuned. Keep it marked on your calendars. We hope this run just keeps going and going and going. And for those, again, that don't keep up with it, uh, what it is is it's district, and then it moves on. Well, first of all, we start off it's sectional, then it's district, and then it moves on to regional. And, of course, that's where we start talking about Sweet 16. And, of course, when they win the region, that's when they move on to the Final Four. If they win the semifinals, if Northampton wins, for example, on Wednesday night, they would move to the Elite Eight. If they win their following game, that would be a regional championship. And then they would be the Final Four, and it moves on to Columbus and the state tournament, just like the NCAA. Uh, and, of course, uh, again, for all of you new to this, uh, new to basketball, one loss and you're done in Ohio High School Athletic Association. Now, why do I mention it that way? That's not true in all the states, uh, but that's the way they do it in Ohio. Very, very, very much like the NCAA tournament that everybody chases in March. We'll take a quick break. We're back, and we've got much more to talk about. But first this, here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. I wanted to prove to myself that I could go to college and get my degree. What if I went to Southern State? What if I'm able to go and become that nurse or that lawyer or that teacher? Southern State Community College allows students to rise above the circumstances that they're surrounded by and become something more than they ever dreamed possible. Welcome to Jerry Hig Motors in Hillsboro, your local Chevrolet dealer for over 50 years. I am Steve Haig, owner, along with my twin daughters, Mindy and Mandy. We operate our family-owned business. We take care of our customers like friends and family. If you need a new Chevrolet or pre-owned vehicle, service, parts, or body shop, think of Jerry Haig Motors in Hillsboro. Proudly supporting the youth of our community. Stop in today for a great deal. Trade-ins welcome. Financing available to qualified buyers. Do you have a roofing or siding project? At Higgins, they manufacture steel roofing and siding every business day. With 17 colors in stock and 70,000 pieces of trim, they are prepared to ship your project immediately. Remember Higgins for your 40-year warranted, Energy Star compliant, American-made steel roofing and siding. Located seven miles west of Hillsboro on US Route 50 and on AC Avenue, just off 35 in Jackson. Call 800-782-4239 or visit them on the web at HigginsRoofing.com. So I thought you quit. I tried. You know that thing can blow up in your face, right? We just watched a video in class about how nicotine can mess up the way your brain develops. That's the last thing you need. But for real, you should probably tell your parents. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, can you come with me? Yeah, I got you. Let's go. It's always fun this time of year because we have all kinds of good news for you. The OASSA first place state finals. First place state finals at Big Walnut High School. The varsity cheerleading squad from North Adams High School. Congratua congratulations, the North Adams Green Devils cheerleaders. OASSA first place state finals at Bo Big Walnut High School. Congratulations, ladies. We knew you could do it. Sally Anderson and her squad, they work very, very hard. Great, great uh, accolades, and we're glad to talk about them. We don't often get to talk about some of the non-basketball uh, uh, non during this time, and so it's great to talk about. First place state finals from Big no Walnut High School, the North Adams Lady Cheerleaders. We'll take a quick break. We're back. Brett Spencer's back with me. We'll talk about Ironton. We'll talk about North Adams. We'll talk about a lot more. But first this, here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. It's almost here. Copas for another long three. Wow. The biggest game of the year. Three-point shot on the buzzer. It's oh! up. It's good. The 39th annual C-103 Shaq Senior All-Star Games are coming Friday, March 22nd. Join us at North Adams High School for a night full of basketball action. Featuring the girls and boys All-Star Games, All-Star Cheerleaders, Hot Shot and Slam Dunk Contests, and more. Doors open at 5. The first games tip off at 6 p.m. Be there.
Fit News, folks, at halftime tonight. One of our fellow broadcasters, a gentleman's very, very deserving. You'll hear us talk about it more. He is going to be honored down at center court at halftime in our ball game, Mr. Ken Smith. Mr. Ken Smith has done over a thousand games on our broadcasting networks, and uh, boy, he has been so supportive of the youth and and all the things he does around the community. Uh, and uh, he, his wife and his family's here, and he's going to be given the Sportsmanship and Media Service Award from the Southeast District. Big deal, uh, and well deserved. So when you see him out there, pat him on the back and say, "Hey, good job, Ken. Now go back and do some more games or something like that." But we'll take a quick break. We'll be back, uh, and Brett will join me. We'll talk about Ironton as well as North Adams. But first, this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. It's almost here. Copas for another long three. Wow. The biggest game of the year. Three-point shot on the buzzer. It's up. It's good. From the ashes of Winchester, Seaman, and Cherry Fork was born the North Adams High School in 1970. North Adams fans are proud of their heritage, but come together as one, supporting the students academically and athletically. We always bring a crowd as the spirit of the Green Devil burns inside of us. We learn to tell our story from coast to coast. We are the Green Devils. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now talk to you about the teams down in front of us down here. It's the North Adams Green Devils facing off against Ironton, the Ironton Tigers. Ironton Tigers, a ball club that we see every year, year after year. Sometimes it's a girls team, sometimes it's a boys team. Anyway, they come in here under Coach Chris Barnes. They are 17-7 and seven overall. They finished in 10-4 and four in the Ohio Valley Conference. They score 63.38 points per game. They give up only 55.58. That's a 7.8 positive margin. This is a ball, this is a school that's always athletic. They always excel at athletics. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, year after year after year again, it's not just basketball. It's not just boys, girls and boys basketball and all sports. Uh, this is not a real huge team, but they really do have good size. Uh, they do score, as I said, 58 points a game. That's uh, 63 points a game. That's pretty good at this level. Uh, they're led by Braden Sreck, uh, Sean Taylor, uh, Bailey Thacker, and Ashton Link. Now, uh, Brett, again, you've got a little bit more detail on the ball club. Uh, they will be a formidable empl- opponent, won't they? <laughs> Very formidable. I don't know. I have any more detail, but I'll give you what I have. Uh, they have two players that are going to average in double digits. It's Brandon Shrek. He averages 19 points a game, and Sean Terry averages 13.3 now, Sean Terry, it's just, it's just not offensive scoring. He averages 13.3 points a game, 4.2 assists, 4 rebounds. Shrek, 19 points a game, 3.3 assists, and 4.1 rebounds. Then they have a couple players that are uh, just knocking on the door of double digits. It's both Ashton Lane. He's only a freshman, and he's six foot three. and Bailey Thacker. Both of them average 9 points a game. They are big. They have three players that are six foot three. Two players that are six foot two. They crash the boards when you look at their statistics, and they're on a six-game winning streak. And physically, they're big. Uh, these are not skinny kids. These are these are guys with some uh, with some bulk. And I don't mean that in, in a negative way. This is a football school, and we see this kind of thing. Ironton has always excelled at football as well. Their losses: they lost to Russell, Kentucky. They lost to Portsmouth twice, as a matter of fact. Huntington, West Virginia. Fairland, the team we just saw take a hit from Minford, Rock Hill, and Wheelersburg. Now, they uh, Portsmouth, uh, and they lost to Chesapeake. Now, both of those teams are teams that North Adams defeated during the season, and Fairland, a team that North Adams had one of their only three losses on. Uh, Brett, again, this should be a good ball game. Let's talk about North Adams, though, why don't we? North uh, Adams, yeah, go right ahead. North Adams, number three seed, 13-0. They got the gold ball in the shack. Most people know that first place division one. They're 19-4 overall. They're balanced. They're quick, quick, quick. They can play half court, and that surprises people. A lot of teams that play in transition, they can't sit in the half court and defend and play uh, offense. North Adams can do that. Uh, next man up. I said this about Manchester the other night. Ma- North Adams is that way. One night it's Osborne. One night it's, uh, I don't know, Rothwell. I'm going to leave somebody out of this. One night, one night it's uh, uh, Swikert. One night it's Copas. You never know who's going to step up and have a great night. That's a good thing. And they will, Brett Spencer, they will play defense. It's in my notes as well. It's a team, there's no secret, this is a team that I personally love to watch and cover. Uh, they're always playing in fifth gear. They're tenacious on defense, as Don just said. They Great point guard play. They go 7-8 deep. They crash the boards. And uh, I tell you, my favorite thing in basketball is a great pass. This is a great passing team. 
Absolutely. They're going to be outsized a little bit tonight. But in my book, speed kills. And they have great coaching staff over there on that bench. And veteran coaching. They've been around. They yes. know how they've been here. They've been in big games. They know how to play basketball. We'll be right back. We'll have rosters and starters. But first this, here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Daggummit. Hey, honey, have you called Robert's Paving about coming out to fix these potholes in our road yet? No, not yet. Why do you ask? Daggummit. Oh, no reason. Robert's Paving Incorporated in Hillsboro, offering commercial and residential asphalt paving in southwest Ohio. Roadways, parking lots, driveways, asphalt seal coating, Robert's Paving does it all. Call today at 937-442-5595. Robert's Paving says good luck to all of our Shack teams this year. Daggummit. Back, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'm Don Bolzolo with Brett Spencer. Now Brett Spencer is going to tell you all about the names, who they are, what they do. It's the Ironton Tigers. Thank you, Don Bowles. Ironton Tigers are going to carry 14 on this tournament roster. They're young. They only have two seniors, eight juniors, one sophomore, three freshmen. It's number one, Sean Terry. He's 5'10". He's a junior. Another 5'10 junior. That's number two, Braylon Sturgill. Number three is Braden Baker. He's 5'10". He's a sophomore. A 6'3 senior. Here we go with the size here. Bailey Thacker. He wears the five jersey. Ten is Bryce Markins. He's 5'9". He's a junior. Six foot junior. That's Judah Barnes wearing the 11 jersey. Thirteen is Tyler Roach, a 6'1 junior. Fourteen. Markle Cotton, he's six foot two, he's a junior. 20, Maddox Markle, six foot junior. Five foot eight freshman, that's Bryson Mullins, he wears the 21 jersey. 22, you hear this name a lot tonight. Braden Shrek, he's six foot two, he's a junior. Five foot 11 freshman, that's Caden Edwards, he wears the 30 jersey. 31, another name you'll hear a lot, Ashton Lane, he averages 6.6 rebounds a game. He's a freshman, he's six foot three tall. And six foot three senior, that's Noah Patterson, he wears the 44 jersey. The coach, that's Chris. Chris Barnes. He's assisted by Andrew Stevens, Toby Shrek, Toby Shrek, Brandon Barnes, and Bryce Barnes. The athletic director is Trevin Pendleton, the principal, Jeff Hairston, and the superintendent, Joe Galecka. The uh, cheerleaders for the uh, Ironton Tigers, it's going to be Addie Barnes, Ms. Jenna Compliment, that's a cool name, Olivia Duncan, Hope Freeman, Cassie Harvey, Kaylee Huff, Maddie Kelly, Ms. Audrey Kemper, Isabella Kern, Bailey Payton, Libby Preston, Lydia Salyers, Bregan Thomas, Bray Lee Thomas, Emerson White, Braylon Wallace, and Emily Compliment. The mascot, that's Emily York, and the coaches and the advisors would be Karen Arthur. She's assisted by Leslie Kearns as well as Ari Cook. That's the Ironton Tigers, their number 11 seed. And now let's take a look at the number three seed on the scoreboard, the team we'd like to see come on with a win, the North Adams Green Devils. Absolutely. Our North Adams Green Devils, they have 12 on tournament roster. They're young as well, only two seniors, six juniors, two sophomores, one freshman. It's number two, Jace Rothwell. He's six foot one. He's a junior, a six-foot senior. That's Mr. Cody Hessler. He's wearing a three jersey. Four is Connor Young, a six-foot three junior. Preston Hall. He wears the five jersey. He's five foot nine inches tall, and he is a sophomore. Number ten, Branson Copas, averages 17.5 points a game. Six foot one. He's a senior. Five foot eleven junior. That's Connor Rogers. He wears the eleven jersey. Twelve is Dalton Pence, a five foot ten sophomore. Fourteen, Carson Osborne, a six foot junior. Another junior at five foot eleven. That's Caleb Diatley wearing the twenty jersey. Twenty two. That's Thaddeus Moore, a five foot ten freshman. Twenty three. Mr. Breeston Swikert. He's 5'11", he's a junior. Rounding out this roster, Cameron McCann. He's 5'10", he's a junior, wears the 24 jersey. The coach, that's Mr. Nathan Copas. He's assisted by Austin McCormick, Ryan Ungers, and Sam Lemires. The athletic director is Katie Reagan, the principal, Carl Berger, and the superintendent, Ms. Don Wallace. And I heard you speak earlier, so congratulations to the cheerleaders from North Adams winning that big walnut uh, finals. That was a nice job by them. The cheerleaders are Ariana Newman, Bella Hamm, Berlin Branscombe, Kyle Mah Mahone, Elena Mays, Ms. Helena Caudill, McKinley Thompson, Ms. Sierra Scales, Bentley Schweikert, Julia Wagner, Kinsley Cornett, and Maya Scales. And the coach, I like her a lot. Her name's Sally Anderson. Thank you very much, Brett. Final break. Southern Hills Community Bank tip-off show is finished right after this. You're on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Big box home improvement stores don't brag about their customer service and knowledgeable staff. And that's because they rarely have either one. Do you really want electrical and plumbing advice from a person who was assembling patio furniture yesterday? Nope. 
Get what you need from the pros at West Union Electric and Plumbing Supply. They now have an expanded hardware line to complement the electrical and plumbing parts, plus handy tips and advice to help you get the job done. West Union Electric and Plumbing Supply, one block south of the courthouse on Walnut Street in West Union. It's basketball 30, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Brett Spencer with the starters. Iron from Tigers is going to start one senior, three juniors, and a freshman. It's number one, Sean Terry, 5'10". Number five, Bailey Thacker, 6'3". 11, Judah Barnes, 6'22". 22, Braden Shrek, 6'2". And 31, Ashton Lane, 6'3". For the North Adams Green Devils, two seniors, three juniors. It's number two, Jace Rothwell, 6'1". Number three, Cody Hessler, 6'10". Branson Kopus, 6'1". 14, Carson Osborne, 6'. And 23, Breeston Swikert. The referees, Chase Marshall and Larry Ryan, both from Marietta, and Nathan Carroll, he's from Racine. For all of you folks out there watching on Good Guys Radio TV, you know that uh, they just they tipped off while we were talking there. Uh, and uh, Ironton went down and took a shot, missed the shot, and off the rebound, Branson Copas came down with the rebound, and North Adams has the basketball for the first time of the ball game. Tigers of Ironton will work to our right. They're in their visitors. Black uniforms as a shot by Copas is no good. It's tipped out. Ironton has the ball. We'll finish that in just a moment. Is out ahead. Off to the left side, there's Terry. He drives in, misses a shot. Stick back up off the right side. Thacker, no good. Rebound back to Terry again. He puts it back up and in. And Ironton takes a 2-0 lead with uh, 6.47 to go in our first quarter. Don Bowles, we can't allow three opportunities with that offensive rebounding by the Ironton Tigers. Absolutely. Once again, Ironton here in their black visitors' uniforms, orange numerals trimmed in white. North Adams, they're the home team on the scoreboard. They work to our left. They're in their white home uniforms, dark green numerals trimmed in gold. Their colors are green and gold. Ironton's colors are orange and black. Sean Terry, who just scored for Ironton, he just also picked up his first foul team's first, game's first. Copas has it at the midcourt. He'll work to the left side, dish it there to Hessler. Hessler will take it back top and kick it over to Swikert. Swikert taking a look. He goes to the left elbow, kicks it left side to Rothwell. A little ball fake. He'll take it into the lane again. Turn around, a little hesitation shot. There we go. Up and in. <laughs> North Adams ties it at two all with 6.19 to go in the first quarter. And Sandy, first basket by your boy, Jace Rothwell. He's got two. And once again, with the basketball out top, Terry, a jump shot off the front of the rim, no good. Stick back off the right front. That's up and in, and uh, Ashton Lane. Ashton Lane scores, and Ironton takes a 4-2 lead as we'll have a uh, takeaway in the backcourt, and Ironton ends up with a basketball and a shot up off the right side, no good. We'll go back the other way against Weikert. As now, Rothwell will get a touch. And again, left side, this time for a three shot. It's Osborne off the front, no good. Rebound, Swikert, no, it's fought for. And out of there, it'll go back the other way again, Terry. They'll find the cherry picker down underneath. Shot up, no good. He misses it. That was Shrek. Copas, good get back, gets back and gets the ball. And then they'll find Hessler off of a partially blocked pass there. And now to Swikert, shot, no good. Rebound back down, Thacker this time. Everybody kind of testing that rim, aren't they? Certainly are, and I tell you, North Adams not getting back on defense. A couple of possessions by Ironton. As they go inside underneath, and a shot up and in. And I believe that was Shrek. Yes, Braden Shrek got that one. Make it 6-2 to two here. North Adams trailing by four with 4.58 to go in our first quarter. After the game, we'll talk to Nathan Copas on our ACRMC Family Medicine Show. Stay tuned for that. As inbounds, they'll get it there to Rothwell. Rothwell, quickly down the floor, hop and a skip, your there own step, go. up and in, make it <laughs> six to four. Chase Rothwell, all four points for North Adams, who trailed by two, 4.45 to go in the first quarter. March 22nd, it's the C-103 Shack All-Star Game at North Adams High School. Make sure you're there. Boys games, girls games. As Ironton with the basketball turnaround jumper off the left side, up and in Terry. Sean Terry makes it 8-4 to four now. He has taken practically every shot that Ironton has taken so far in this ballgame. Yeah, it's great defense by Copas down there. Just another nice shot by Sean Terry. Swiker, long three. He liked it, but off the top, no good. Rebound back down. Out again, it'll go out front to Sean Terry. Terry dribbling ahead off the left side, a hop and a skip. He misses it off the side of the rim. Now we got Rothwell out ahead. It's a foot race. Rothwell drives in. He's fouled. He'll shoot two foul shots. 
Nice outlet pass. Rothwell on the run down there. He'll go to the line, shoot two. Time for that scoreboard update. Brought to you by H&R Block in West Union. The score with 4.06 to go in the first quarter. It is Ironton leading 8-4 with Jace Rothwell at the foul line to shoot two foul shots. That foul called on Judah Barnes. Jace Rothwell, he's a 66% free throw shooter. He drops the first 45 for 68 coming into this game. And we have our first substitution for North Adams, and that is going to be Mr. Connor Young. He's six foot three. He's a junior. He'll replace Mr. Cody Hessler. Rothwell settles in to attempt the second foul shot. Student sections both say he misses the foul shot. Rebound down there. Uh, that'll be to Lane. And then out top, bringing the ball down the floor is Shrek. Over to Terry. Then far left side, over there to Barnes. And now back to the corner, a three shot up, no good. High off the back, fought for, and there'll be a shot back up. I believe that was Ashton Lane. That's correct. And we've got a timeout. We're back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Gas mileage is very important when the price of gas just keeps going up. And if you're driving around on old worn-out tires, you're wasting gas. Vehicle out of alignment? That's another gas sucker. Check engine light on? Yep, that's just more gas down the tailpipe. Get the most out of every gallon of gas with a visit to Tanya's Tires, Service, and Rental in West Union. Located on Lloyd Road between West Union High School and West Union Elementary. Call 937-544-4106 to schedule your appointment today. Trust Tanya's care for your auto repair at Tanya's Tires, Service, and Rental in West Union. Now offering alignments and service for tractor tires. Seconds to go in our first quarter. If you're listening on C103, don't forget you can tune in to Good Guys Radio TV. GoodGuysRadioTV.com. You can watch this entire ball game live. You can also come back and watch it in uh, the archive section. You can watch it later tonight, tomorrow, next week, whenever. North Adams has the ball off of the timeout. They trail 10 to 5 with 3:36 to go in the first quarter. Swikert dribbling out off the wing. He'll kick it there to Rothwell. Now left side to Young. Young in off of the bench, and then out top. Osborne, Osborne, a three shot, up, no. Rebound, tipped around, tipped around, and out of there, out ahead, it goes to Sean Terry. Terry off the left side. He'll kick it far right side, then back out top. Then to uh, Shrek for a three shot. Nope, rebound, Swikert, he cleans it out. Swikert in traffic, kicks it to the trailer, Osborne. Osborne swings it back over to Swikert. Swikert in off the baseline, misses a shot, may have been partially blocked. Back out ahead, the Tigers. No easy shots in this game. Everything is challenged. North Adams now 0 for 4 from beyond the arc in this first quarter. 10 to 5 is the score. 2.42 to go in this first quarter. Ironton over top of the North Adams Green Devils. Shot from the left wing for a 3. Nope. Rebound Rothwell. Everybody is shooting outside the college 3-point arc. I think somebody forgot to tell them that white line is a 3-point arc for high school. And, boy, that makes a big difference as Swikert drives in a finger roll, makes it 10-7. to seven. North Adams back within three. Preston Swikert averages 11.6 points per game. That's his first two. 10-7. to seven. Ireton on top. As a shot up off the right side, uh, that was by uh, Barnes. That's no good. Rebound back down to North Adams. Copas will reset as it starts to settle down a little bit. Copas a hop and a skip. Uncontested, there we go. he gets two. Make it 10 to nine now as uh, North Adams back within one. At halftime, our studio producer, R2, will bring you the Higgins Steel Roofing Studio update. Catch up on the scores as we'll go back the other way again. Osborne, a hop and a skip, and we'll have a foul <laughs> and one. Yes, sir. There's a left-hand scoop shot, kisses it off the glass. He'll go to the line. And North Adams takes the lead for the first time in the ball game. With a minute 43 to go in our first quarter, North Adams has their first lead. And we have timeout on the floor. We're back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. ProGen's Next Generation Technology Flooring is designed to stand up to the demands of modern life. And it's available now at the Winchester Carpet Outlet. Because ProGen is durable, waterproof, dimensionally stable, and easy to install, it can be used in any room, including rooms that are most prone to moisture and spills, like kitchens and baths. For top quality flooring, service, and selection at prices that'll floor you, visit the Winchester Carpet Outlet, just off State Route 32 on Tri-County Road, just a few miles west of Winchester, Ohio, and online at Winchester Carpet Outlet. Outlet.com.
come back, ladies and gentlemen. The ball tipped away. By the way, Osborne missed that foul shot. Out ahead, they got Rothwell off of a steal. Rothwell gets the trailer, shot up by Swikert, up and in. Nice pass by Rothwell. Two points, Swikert. 8 0 run, North Adams. Great outlet pass by Osborne. They'll swing it right side over there to Lane. Lane in the paint for a jump shot. Rolls around, rolls around, drops in. Make it 13 to 12. Ironton back within one now. Six points now for that freshman, Mr. Ashton Lane. Copas out off the wing. Couple of crossover dribbles. Then he'll take it out and set it up. Off the right side, he'll go there to Young. College floor, if you're, uh, as you look at it here, you might not know. I don't know, perspective sometimes is a little different on video. This floor is longer and wider than a high school floor, and it will affect their legs. It'll affect how they play in the second half. Also, the background scenery to be shooting against is very different. You'll see players uh, probably not be as effective uh, sometimes in shooting because there's no background like they have at high schools. Cody Hessler in for Carson Osborne, also a big foul. Sean Terry just picked up his second foul for Ironton. Copas, long three out off the right side. Nope, rebound though. Swikert, he puts it, tries to put it up, but Young comes up with it. Good job, Swikert. Copas dribbles at midcourt. Swikert just flies through the paint on those uh, rebounds. He likes, he likes that basketball. Snappy tomato pizza and semen of West Union. Proudly serves your families and are proud to sponsor this broadcast. Snappies, so much taste in a snap. North Adams one-point lead, 13-12, to 12, looking for the last shot of this first quarter. We're inside of 10 seconds. And they'll swing it left side to Copas. Copas at the foul line, turn around at the elbow, shot up at the end. Oh. That's the quarter. We're back after this. North Adams 15, Ironton 12, here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. We've been growing since 1946. As your Kubota dealer, our focus is to help you grow today and into the future. Stop by one of our locations today, visit with our folks, and see our entire lineup of Kubota products. Our business is helping you grow. Southern Ohio is nationally known as the hot spot for trophy whitetail deer hunting. That's why the Dickey Group Realtors receive multiple calls every day from whitetail deer hunters who are looking to purchase land in Southern Ohio. So if you have property, no matter how large or small, the Dickey Group Realtors want to talk to you. It's deer season right now, so strike while the iron is hot. Call Jeff Dickey today at 937-393-7222 or visit thedickeygroup.com. Insurance protection for you and your family. John Wood Insurance has helped thousands of families with their insurance needs since 1891. For service you can trust, contact John Wood Insurance in Georgetown at 937-378-4124, in Owensville at 513-732-2600, in West Union at 937-544-5505, or in Peebles at 937-587-2246. That's John Wood Insurance. We begin the second quarter. North Adams with the lead and the basketball. They lead 15 to 12. Rothwell bounce pass to Swiker behind the defense. And we'll get a travel call as he pulled that shot down as it was about to be blocked. And in doing so, he lost his uh, dribble. And they call him for the travel and turnover North Adams. Second turnover for North Adams in the game in this first half. As a swing at right side, back over here this time. Uh, it's a new guy out there, Bryce Markins, in the ball game, and we'll get a travel and a turnover going the other way. And that's Ironton's first turnover in this first half. 15 to 12 is the score. North Adams on top. 7:37 to go in the first half. North Adams with possession. Bryce Markins, a 5'9 junior, Copus, dribbling out top off the screen by. Rothwell, long three shot, Copas up and in. There we go. Get the lid off the basket. 18 to 12, that gives North Adams a six point lead. 7-18 to go in the second quarter. Coming up at the half, it's the Berries. Chevrolet Buick halftime report. Driving in off the left side though, answering is Shrek. As uh, Braden Shrek makes it 18-14 now. Back within four, Ironton is. 
Copas goes in the corner to Hester, back to Copas. Copas back to Cope, back to Hester, now to Swikert. Swikert dribbling left side, goes inside. And we're going to get a foul, I believe, against Ironton. Bailey Thacker is going to pick up that foul. Hard body check to Breeston Swikert. It was on the floor. Checking back in with two fouls. That's going to be Sean Terry for Ironton. Ashton Lane out there for Ironton already has seven rebounds in this ball game. 6.52 to go in the first quarter. That's a monstrous number in the first quarter. Yes, sir. A freshman. Rothwell drives in left side, reverse layup, <laughs> up and in. 2014. North that is back up by six. I like Jace right. Rothwell now, seven points. They head right side to go to Shrek. Not a Terry. Uh, and in the far corner they go back out top. It'll come there to the new guy out there, Markins. Shot up, no good. Rebound, Copas. Northampton's with the ball as Ironton. It's one and done. Copas, another three. Can he do it? He cannot. It pops back out. Rebound back down. Swikert ripped the ball away from Thacker. And I mean ripped it away from him. That was interesting. Uh, Thacker's about three times. Well, not quite three times. But he's bigger than Swikert. Copas out top to Rothwell. Again, North Adams leading 20 to 14. Rothwell turn around in the paint, bounce pass back to Swikert, little ball fake, back out to Rothwell again. I like the patience that North Adams is showing here right now. Ironton has been guilty of taking the bait on some of these pump fakes. They have, haven't they? Yes, Jabs, they have. Jab steps and, and, and ball fakes are, are bothering them. And usually at this level it doesn't bother them. Swikert. That's a good point. I had, you know, I'd noticed it, but I, but, it, but I didn't, if that makes sense. Uh, Copas. And they are playing, almost overplaying on defense. Swikert, three oh. shot up and good. 23 <laughs> 14, North Adams. Three players with seven points Rothwell, Copas, and Swikert. Terry, a hop and a skip into the paint. They answer. Make it 23 16 now. Sean Terry now six points. He averages 13.3 for Ironton. This coverage sponsored by Southern State Community College. Visit sscc.edu to begin your pathway to completion today. Rothwell from the left corner back out. It'll go to Hessler. Hessler back to Rothwell. And now they're settling kind of back within the arc, aren't they? Yeah, and it seems like North Adams feels they can take them off the dribble as well. 23-16, North Adams on top, 4.47 to go in the first half. Copas for a three shot. Nope, rebound back down underneath the Markins. Out ahead, and it's uh, tipped away. Terry tracks it down. That was almost a turnover. Off the left side, driving in, a hop and a skip. Shot up, no oh, good. Yeah. Rebound. We will get, what, a foul against Has to be North Ashton Adams, Lane. I believe. No, nope. Ashton Lane over the back, I believe. I think you're correct. I thought they were pointing to where the ball was going. I thought they were looking at Rothwell. Ashton Lane, his first, team second in the second quarter. Back into the game is Mr. Connor Young. For North Adams. Scoreboard update brought to you by H&R Block in West Union. Your tax and financial partner. The score with 425 to go in the second quarter. It is North Adams leading 23-16. Ahead they'll get the ball there to uh, Osborne, but it's knocked out of bounds by Ironton. So North Adams will reset their offense. Again, leading 23-16. Special thanks to our studio producer, R2, doing a great job. And, of course, our producer and director, on Good Guys Radio TV, Brandon Rigdon. Rothwell at the foul line, back out left side. Young for a three shot, looks good, is good. Just into the game, Connor Young. His 20, first three. Excuse me, 26-16. Ten point lead, North Adams. Ahead right side, another new guy, Braylon Sturgill out there. Gets the ball, then he goes in right side. Feeds it to Ashton Lane, who scores. 26-18 now, North Adams still with the lead, of course. Copas at the midcourt, 3.50 to go in the first half. Ashton Lane, the freshman, he's one point shy of his season average. He has eight. Young on a rebound, stick back, but there'll be a foul before the uh, stick back, so Copas will go the foul line again. Stay with us during halftime, during the Barry Chevrolet halftime report. Uh, not only will R2 have the Higgins Steel Roofing Studio update, but we'll have our colleague, Mr. Ken Smith, being honored at half court as he receives a special reward Award from the Southeast District. Uh, it's a special services media award given every year to one um, deserving media member. As Copas foul shot up and in. 
and make the score 28-18 now as he hits both of them. Branson Copa, 73% free throw shooter, hits them both. He has nine points, and that was a big foul as well. Ashton Lane, the freshman, who has eight points, he just picked up his second foul. And Sean Terry with the ball out there now. As dribbles off the right side, goes to the elbow over the top. The defense shot doesn't stay down. Rebound loose. Young has it. Nice save by Young. Now we'll go to Osborne, and we'll get oh. a foul in the backcourt. That's expensive. That could be very Ooh. expensive. <laughs> yes. Nope. In the backcourt, a little recovery foul. Did it not go the way we thought it was Did going to? Did not go against Terry, which would have been his third. Instead, it went against Sturgill. Braylon Sturgill, a 5'10 junior. North Adams brings it up. 10-point lead, 28-18, 3-13 to go in the first half. Cope is at the midcourt. Bounce pass ahead right side to Rothwell, then back to Swikert. Swikert will take it in off the right side. Taps it off the glass, but it won't stay down. Rebound back, at, back down ahead, Shrek. Left side to Terry, back the other right side, trying to get it organized as a shot up. I wow. don't know how he did it. Ashton Lane scores. Double digits now for Ashton Lane. He has 10. 28-20. North Adams up by eight now. Copas just taking his time again. North Adams not in much, not playing much transition basketball right now. Yes, Osborne to Copas. Copas off the left side with somebody riding him. Yeah, Sturgill. It looked like when they cleared out that left side, you just knew Copas was going to take him. He did. Braylon Sturgill picks up his second. That's the team's four, fifth. We'll mention this again. Congratulations to North Adams cheerleaders. The OASSA first place state finals. In first place, Big Walnut High School. Congratulations, ladies. Good job. Hey, Ethan Cantrell, by the way, he's going to go to the state finals. Sweet 16 in wrestling and his weight. Class, he uh, pinned in the first period yesterday the presumed uh, favorite to win the state championship, uh, champion from last year, but now he goes to the uh, state championship Sweet 16. Ethan Cantrell, West Union High School, as Copas misses the second foul shot, makes one, misses one. Make it 29-20 now. North Adams with the lead as uh, Terry brings the ball down the floor. He'll swing it right side over to Sturgill, back to Terry. Then bounce pass left side, Markle Cotton. And we'll get an inadvertent trip, I believe, by North Adams, so it'll be a foul. That award being given to Ken Smith, that Sportsmanship and Media Service Award. Uh, boy, the contribution he's made to sports coverage on our networks, but also what all he does in the community, and uh, uh, just a great community member, and he'll be a... Uh, Honored at the half. Shot up off the left side, no good. Rebound tipped out. Rothwell ends up with it. Mark it down, Don Bowles. Ashton Lane's going to pick up another foul pretty soon, going over the back every time. Rothwell kicks it for a right side to Swikert. Back out to Copas. As Copas heard uh, Sweet Lou over there say two minutes, and uh, they back it out and work the half court. Rothwell goes in off the right side. Oh. A little up and one. Wow. Jace Rothwell, what a move. 31-20, he'll go to the foul line to complete the three-point play with a minute 44 to go in our first half. I believe Sturgill must have picked up that foul. He did. That was his third. Checking in is going to be Bailey Thacker. He's back in for Iron City. This broadcast is brought to you in part by First Aid Bank. They have locations throughout Ohio and Kentucky, but they have new locations opening soon in Maysville and Portsmouth. Foul shot is up and good. That makes the score 32-20. That is the biggest lead of the ballgame for North Adams. Jace Rothwell now in double digits with 10 points. Minute 37 to go. Terry swings it right side. Over here to Cotton. Back to Terry it goes. Bounce pass far left side to, to Shrek. Now they'll go over there to Lane again and Shrek. 32 to 20 is the score. North Adams on top by 12. Three shot, no good. Swikert on the rebound. Off the backside. Swikert will bring it down the floor now. Yes, being bothered there by Terry. Waits for Copas. That was the fifth rebound by Breeston Swikert. 32 20 the score again. Minute six to go in our first half. If you're listening on C103, you can go to Good Guys Radio TV and watch that as well. Copas kicks it back out left side. Young for a three-shot. Oh, oh, man. The old-fashioned four we're going for here. 35-20, <laughs> and he's going to go to the foul line. Oh, wow. 
56.7 seconds to go in our first half. And North Adams extends that lead to 15. And Connor Young, as you say, will complete, we hope, the four-point play. Connor Young is a 67% free throw shooter, 12 for 18 on the season. He's hit two three-pointers, same spot. He misses ah, the free throw. We jinxed him. We did. Thacker on the rebound, out to Terry, ahead to Shrek. Braden Shrek, the leading scorer on this Ironton ball club. He's been kind of silent so far, comparatively. As Cotton goes far left side, and the ball knocked away again. Good defense there by Rothwell, or excuse me, by Osborne to Hessler. Back it'll go to Rothwell, to Young, and now to Rothwell. They're going to get to Rothwell yet, because I said so. 30 seconds to go, 35-20 the score. We are almost to halftime. Now to Swikert, off the right side. He's dribbling around, dribbles into the paint. Hop and a skip, half scoop, <laughs> up and run! Wow! Whoa! That might be the third foul on Ashton. 37-20. Rothwell up there patting him on the forehead. What was that, trying to cool him off? Is that what that was? Ashton Lane, the leading scorer for Ironton, just picked up his third foul. 14.9 seconds to go in the first half. Swikert at the foul line, misses the foul shot. Rebound back again, Thacker. Ahead left side, now back to Terry it goes. Terry caught in a trap, he'll get it back. Terry again, driving in, finger roll, misses the shot. Swikert on the rebound. On the buzzer, oh. shot up. Nope. We'll go to the halftime. Barry Chevrolet halftime they report. Hold on a second. There's going to be a foul. That'll be a three-shot foul before we go to before we go to halftime. That's huge. What was that about? What was he thinking? Oh my goodness. 37-20 the score. Swikert will step to the foul line. And the coach for Ironton is extremely unhappy right now. You can hear the Ironton fans, they're not too happy. As they're telling the Ironton team to uh, step away from the foul line. It's not, a, it's not a technical or anything, it's just there's no reason to rebound. The time has expired. He shot the ball on the buzzer, way past midcourt, had really not, not any chance of going in. And Brett, not a real good uh, move for Ironton, is it? It was not. Swikert 0 for 1 from the free throw line tonight. He does have nine points. He's a 54% free throw shooter. North Adams only four for ten from the free throw line in this first half. I don't know what they're talking about. They're over the scores table, and now the official will finally say uh, uh, that Swikert will shoot three foul shots. They're all alone. Man, Just the total bear hug they put on Brees and Swikert. He misses the first of the three free throws. He'll get two more. 37-20, North Adams leading here. And I said time expired. There's actually two seconds. They, they stopped the clock with two seconds. He hits the first foul shot, second foul shot. He does not hit it. Now, this is interesting. They are saying that's an intentional foul. It has to be an intentional foul because they're not letting them take their position on the side of the lane. There is no time left on the clock. Okay. So it was, okay, I was correct. And he hits the third one. So to make it 38 20 as we go to halftime, it's a Barry Chevrolet halftime report up next here on. Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Team sports teach the young men and women of our community how to work together to achieve a common goal. They also reinforce other character traits such as respect, dedication, and self-discipline. The family of Wallace Thompson Funeral Homes with locations in Peebles, Seaman, and Winchester salute the teams of the Southern Hills Athletic Conference and wish you the best of luck the family of Wallace Thompson Funeral Homes, providing the care and service that you and your family deserve. Who is Barry Chevrolet? Why don't you ask your friends and neighbors? Because after 70 years, four generations in the automotive industry, odds are we've made a happy customer out of somebody you know. Hard-working, proud Americans drive Chevrolets, and that's why we sell them at Barry's. Hats off to everybody driving a Silverado truck. You're my kind of people. Barry Chevrolet, your best deal dealer. He also serves as the sales and station manager of C103 Country. He's broadcasted over 1,000 basketball, baseball, and volleyball games. And I'd like to thank his wife and two dollars. 
And it's Ken Smith being uh, given the award down on the floor uh, as he's uh, uh, broadcast well over a thousand sporting events. And uh, pretty good stuff for our colleague. Well deserved. He has uh, really contributed a lot, not just to our company, but of course also to the uh, local high schools in our community. Once again, Ken Smith, the uh, Sportsmanship and Media Service Award, Southeast District here at Ohio University, the Convocation Center. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back as we continue the Barry Chevrolet Halftime Report here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Our beliefs matter. They're reflected in our words and actions. At First State Bank, we believe in treating people well and have since 1884. Listening, caring, looking out for each other. It's what people deserve. It's what a real local bank does. While lots of things have changed over the years, our belief in you hasn't. First State Bank, built on belief. Snap, Grr. snap, Grr. Oh, that's your family's stomach hungry for dinner. And the best way to tame that savage beast is by feeding it a beast pizza from Snappy Tomato Pizza. Beast pizza. The beast pizza is equal to three large pizzas. Get one with one topping, only $26.99. Or get the junior beast, bigger than an extra large, with one topping, only $15.99. For fast, snappy delivery, go to snappytomato.com. Snappy delivery. <laughs> That's the sound of your truck losing you money. Whether you're a major trucking operation or an independent owner, you're losing business. Let me give you some advice. Call Willie and Son Trucking. Their certified Caterpillar, Cummings, and Detroit experts can get your truck moving so you can get back to doing business. Call Willie and Son Trucking for an overhaul or glider kit rebuilt at 937-763-9521. Keep your business rolling with Willie and Son Trucking. Barry Chevrolet halftime report. North Adams won the first quarter 15 to 12. Second quarter, they won it 13 to 8. They lead by 18 points, 38 20 here at halftime. Up next, it's Higgins Steel Roofing Studio Update. Our tool will have that for you right after this. You're on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. I wanted to prove to myself that I could go to college and get my degree. What if I went to Southern State? What if I'm able to go and become that nurse or that lawyer or that teacher? Southern State Community College allows students to rise above the circumstances that they're surrounded by and become something more than they ever dreamed possible. Welcome to Jerry Hig Motors in Hillsboro, your local Chevrolet dealer for over 50 years. I am Steve Haig, owner, along with my twin daughters, Mindy and Mandy. We operate our family-owned business. We take care of our customers like friends and family. If you need a new Chevrolet or pre-owned vehicle, service, parts, or body shop, think of Jerry Haig Motors in Hillsboro. Proudly supporting the youth of our community. Stop in today for a great deal. Trade-ins welcome. Financing available to qualified buyers. Do you have a roofing or siding project? At Higgins, they manufacture steel roofing and siding every business day. With 17 colors in stock and 70,000 pieces of trim, they are prepared to ship your project immediately. Remember Higgins for your 40-year warranted, Energy Star compliant, American-made steel roofing and siding. Located seven miles west of Hillsboro on US Route 50 and on AC Avenue, just off 35 in Jackson. Call 800-782-4239 or visit them on the web at HigginsRoofing.com. So I thought you quit. I tried. You know that thing can blow up in your face, right? We just watched a video in class about how nicotine can mess up the way your brain develops. <laughs> That's the last thing you need. But for real, you should probably tell your parents. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, can you come with me? Yeah, I got you. Let's go. It's almost here. Copas for another long three. Wow. The biggest game of the year. Three-point shot on the buzzer. It's oh! up. It's good. The 39th annual C103 Shaq Senior All-Star Games are coming Friday, March 22nd. 
Join us at North Adams High School for a night full of basketball action. Featuring the girls and boys all-star games, all-star cheerleaders, hot shot and slam dunk contests, and more. Doors open at 5. The first games tip off at 6 p.m. Be there. From the ashes of Winchester, Seaman, and Cherry Fork was born the North Adams High School in 1970. North Adams fans are proud of their heritage, but come together as one, supporting the students academically and athletically. We always bring a crowd as the spirit of the Green Devil burns inside of us. We learn to tell our story from coast to coast. We are the Green Devils. Daggummit. Hey, honey, have you called Roberts Paving about coming out to fix these potholes in our road yet? No, not yet. Why do you ask? Daggummit. Oh, no reason. Roberts Paving Incorporated in Hillsboro, offering commercial and residential asphalt paving in southwest Ohio. Roadways, parking lots, driveways, asphalt seal coating, Roberts Paving does it all. Call today at 937-442-5595. Roberts Paving says good luck to all of our Shack teams this year. Daggummit. Big box home improvement stores don't brag about their customer service and knowledgeable staff. And that's because they rarely have either one. Do you really want electrical and plumbing advice from a person who was assembling patio furniture yesterday? Nope. Get what you need from the pros at West Union Electric and Plumbing Supply. They now have an expanded hardware line to complement the electrical and plumbing parts. Plus, handy tips and advice to help you get the job done. West Union Electric and Plumbing Supply, one block south of the courthouse on Walnut Street in West Union. Gas mileage is very important when the price of gas just keeps going up. And if you're driving around on old worn out tires, you're wasting gas. Vehicle out of alignment? That's another gas sucker. Check engine light on? Yep, that's just more gas down the tailpipe. Get the most out of every gallon of gas with a visit to Tanya's Tires, Service and Rental in West Union. Located on Lloyd Road between West Union High School and West Union Elementary. Call 937-544-4106 to schedule your appointment today. Trust Tanya's care for your auto repair at Tanya's Tire Service and Rental in West Union. Now offering alignments and service for tractor tires. ProGen's next generation technology flooring is designed to stand up to the demands of modern life and it's available now at the Winchester Carpet Outlet. Because ProGen is durable, waterproof, dimensionally stable and easy to install, it can be used in any room, including rooms that are most prone to moisture and spills like kitchens and baths. For top quality flooring, service and selection at prices that'll floor you, visit the Winchester Carpet Outlet just off State Route 32 on Tri-County Road, just a few miles west of Winchester, Ohio and online at Winchester Carpet Outlet. Outlet.com. They'll do all right. At the half, the score 38 20. Well, that's leads. We're back after this second half action on the Barry Chevrolet Halftime Report here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. We've been growing since 1946. As your Kubota dealer, our focus is to help you grow today and into the future. Stop by one of our locations today, visit with our folks, and see our entire lineup of Kubota products. Our business is helping you grow. Southern Ohio is nationally known as the hot spot for trophy whitetail deer hunting. That's why the Dickey Group Realtors receive multiple calls every day from whitetail deer hunters who are looking to purchase land in Southern Ohio. So if you have property, no matter how large or small, the Dickey Group Realtors want to talk to you. It's deer season right now, so strike while the iron is hot. Call Jeff Dickey today at 937-393-7222 or visit thedickeygroup.com. Insurance protection for you and your family. John Wood Insurance has helped thousands of families with their insurance needs since 1891. For service you can trust, contact John Wood Insurance in Georgetown at 937-378-4124, in Owensville at 513-732-2600, in West Union at 937-544-5505, or in Peebles at 937-587-2246. That's John Wood Insurance. We begin the second half. Ironton with the ball and quickly they attempt to shot off the wing and bury a three. Boy, that's a quick start. Took them less than 10 seconds to hit a three off the wing and make the score 38-23. North Adams now has the ball. They'll work to our right. Rothwell takes it in. Back out to Hessler. Out there in North Adams with their starters. It's Osborne, Rothwell, Kopas, Hessler, and Swigert. 
Out top, it'll come to Osborne. A little hook pass behind. Copas with a reverse layup. Nope, rebound out of bounds. North Adams will keep it. Brett, I believe it's starters also for Ironton. It looks like what? Shrek as well as Terry. And I'm going to miss a couple Thacker, of them. Thacker, Lane. and Lane. Yes. As a 38-23, 7.25 to go in our third quarter. North Adams with the lead and the basketball. Now, we liked them at the other end of the floor. Let's see what they do here. Shot up and in. <laughs> Boy, is that a leaner, a leaping leaner. We don't see those very often. 40-23. He was way up in the air before he buried that. 12 points now for Breeston Swikert. He also has six rebounds in the game. Terry swings it right side to Shrek. Back out to Terry. Terry in trouble, swings it left side there to Barnes. Now they go to Thacker behind the back pass. Nice find by Lane, up and in, making 40-25. Wow. That was a good looking pass. Yeah, now. it was a great looking pass, and then Lane was up by the rim, just rolled it off the fingertips. He has 12 points now. Osborne has it ahead, left side. Swikert for a three shot. Nope, rebound back side. Down there comes to Lane. Out ahead, Terry. Terry goes left side to Shrek. Shrek underneath is fouled. They will not give him continuation. Make the score 40-25 with 6.32 to go in the uh, third quarter. Join Ben Higgins game days at 4.45 and just before tip-off for Shaq pregame report. Brought to you by Ron Lynch with Edward Jones Investments in Maysville and Peebles save a lot. Uh, rebound put back up Shrek and one. Not a good look, not a good start to the third quarter here as they'll go back to the foul line. The score 40-27 now. Previous cat foul was called upon Breeston Swikert. This foul was called on Jace Rothwell. No foul trouble for North Adams. Uh, Rothwell, Copas, and Swikert each have one. Foul shot's good. Make it 40-28 now. Rothwell in the backcourt working against Copas. Copas dribbling fast ahead. Bounce pass right side. Back out it'll come. Osborne for a three shot. Nope. Rebound pop back out. Terry out ahead left side there to Lane. Lane puts it up and in. 40-30 the score. As North Adams said, we've got time out on the floor. We're back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C-103. Team sports teach the young men and women of our community how to work together to achieve a common goal. They also reinforce other character traits, such as respect, dedication, and self-discipline. The family of Wallace Thompson Funeral Homes with locations in Peebles, Seaman, and Winchester salute the teams of the Southern Hills Athletic Conference and wish you the best of luck. The family of Wallace Thompson Funeral Homes, providing the care and service that you and your family deserve. Welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen. 6.15 to go on our uh, clock, and uh, boy, Arjun comes out of the locker room uh, on fire as they score as they score 10 quick points here and they pull back within 10 make it uh, 40 to 30 now the score and uh, North Adams with the basketball we'll see what coach Nathan Copas had to say over there see what changes they have Branson Copas left side there to Osborne out top that flush by Lane brought this Ironton crowd on its feet Copas Dribbles off the right side, back out to Swikert. Swikert at the elbow, shot up off the rim, nope. Rebound back down, once again Lane with the ball. In the backcourt, Shrek. Shrek dribbles around and brings it ahead, working against Rothwell. To Lane, Lane outside the foul line, shot up, no. Rebound Rothwell, and the sh <laughs> uh, bump and a give. Back underneath, they get it back, block shot. And now we'll get the foul, this one against North Adams. Swiker may be picking up his second. 40 to 30 the score, excuse me. Breeson Swiker picks up his second foul. Going to the free throw line, that will be Mr. Braden Shrek. He's one for one from the free throw line. He has seven points in the game. He averages 19. And foul shot misses. Thanks to Adams County Medical Foundation, they ask all parents and grandparents to talk to their teens about the dangers of vaping. Download the Talk They Hear You app for more information. Connor Young checks back into the game. He replaces Cody Hessler for North Adams. Shrek Foul shot, both. no good. Rebound should be North Adams. It is. Let's give a shout out to Willing Sun Trucking. South Leesburg, North of Hillsboro. They bring you our post game report. Stay tuned for stats, coaches, comments, and more. 
Northern's will put the ball to play as Ironton's going to come out and show full court pressure. Don Bowles, I know we're up by 10, 40 to 30, but this is a big possession and it's a turnover. And Terry into the paint and will be fouled. And suddenly Ironton has sped the game up. And that's where North Adams, we kept talking about in the first half, them sitting in the half court. Well, Ironton has sped the game up. And, of course, that full court pressure also. Terry will put the ball in play underneath the Ironton basket. Connor Young picks up that foul. Four team fouls early into this third quarter. 5-18 to go. Sreck uh, might have taken an extra step. Yes, he did. Turnover. North Adams gets it back. 5-15 to go in our third quarter. North Adams about up by 10. 40-30. The score. I repeat, Don Bowles, we need a basket right here just to break this momentum for Ironton. As inbounds, it comes to Copas. Copas dribbling in the backcourt, yep. and we'll get a foul called. It's a good Great. call. Join us before each game as we bring you the Southern Hills Community Bank tip-off show. That's presented by Southern Hills Community Bank. Eight locations across Adams, Brown, and Highland County. Braden Shrek picks up his second foul. North Adams maintains possession. They also maintain a 10-point lead, 40-30, 5-12 to go in the third quarter. Rothwell, bounce pass into Copas. Back and come to Rothwell. Rothwell dribbles the length of the floor, kicks it right side to Young. Young will back it back out. And back it will go to Copas. They want to chase like that. We'll keep that up. They'll wear them out really quick doing that. Rothwell out top, now to Swikert, now to Young. A three-man weave on top by North Adams. Now to Osborne, to Copas. And driving in is Copas, he'll shoot two foul shots. And not unusual, okay. I think it was the last game that we talked to Nathan Copas, you've got to be able to withstand that punch coming out of the locker room. Any team that's down, they're going to come out and push back, and that's what Ironton's doing. So, North Adams, as you said, Brett, they just need a basket, need to push back. Yeah, Sean Terry just picked up his third foul. He joins Ashton Lane with three, as well as Braylon Sturgill for Ironton. And again, we struggle with the free throw line. Branson Copas misses the first of the two free throws. Time for our scoreboard update. Brought to you by Jeff Newman and his staff at H&R Block and West Union. The score, 40 for North Adams. Make it 41. 41 North Adams, 30 for Ironton. Terry with the ball, out ahead to Barnes, and back over to Terry. 11 points now for Branson Copas. Terry dribbles it back out top as he looks there to Thacker. The ball knocked away, almost lost. Good recovery, Shrek. Back to Terry again. They go to Thacker inside. Thacker looking, looking, looking. Thacker really never looks to the basket as a shot up off the right side, up and in. Judah Barnes makes it 41-33. Second three-pointer for Judah Barnes in this quarter. He, quarter, he has six. As North Adams with the lead, driving ahead is Osborne for a little half hook up and in. 43-33, back to a 10-point game, North Adams. Carson Osborne, his fourth point of the game. Terry dribbles off the right side. Now a shot by Shrek for a three. He buries it. 43-36. Shrek now has 10. Inbounds, Copas with the ball. Out ahead, he'll find Young. Young will back it out again. 3.44 to go in the third. 43-36 North Adams. Back left side to Young. Now to Rothwell. Now to Copas. Ironton's now cut that 18-point lead at halftime down to a total of seven. Yes. Copas taking his time. 3.24 to go. Trying to pull that defense out of the paint. Now we'll go to Rothwell. Little dish to Swikert. Swikert, a little ball fake. And again, they continue to go for that, don't they? Yes. Yes, they overplay their defense. Now, Rothwell, a three shot. Get in there. No, that's uh, pops back out. Ball's loose, though. And Young, excuse me, Osborne ends up with it. Out to Young. Good rebound. Oh. Yes. Back it'll be to Copas. That was almost a foul on uh, Ironton, by the way. Copas, back left side now to Rothwell. Back again, this time Young for a three. Off the top, no good. Tipped out again, Osborne. This time it'll be Ironton basketball with 2.40 to go in our third quarter. North Adams leading 43-36. Stick around after the final buzzer as we wrap the game up with stats, comments, and much more. The Williamson Trucking Post Game Show. Terry in the backcourt for Ironton. Let's the ball roll to him, and they'll bring it forward. 
Bailey Thacker, the big guy inside, he's quite a presence when it comes to passing the basketball and rebounding, but he doesn't look to the basket much. Turnaround jump shot, up and in. Ashton Lane makes it 43-38, and they have cut that lead now to five. Ashton Lane owning this uh, third quarter. He will step to the foul line. Connor Young picks up that foul, his second team's fifth. Cody Hester getting ready to check into the game, and he does. He will replace Breeston Schweikert. First trip to the free throw line for Ashton Lane, who now has 16 points in the game. He averages nine. In that first half, North Adams didn't commit very, very many fouls, but they're making up for it here in the third quarter. He completes the three-point play, and he cuts the lead to four. Make it 43-39. It is North Adams with the lead. Rothwell stepped through. There Little scoop shot, up and in, 45-39. They needed that. Now let's get a stop. Jace Rothwell, 12 points for North Adams. That lead back to 6, 45-39. North Adams on top, 2.07 to go in the third quarter. Off the right side, they go over there. They pick up the ball. Now Terry gets it back. Now he tries to go inside. The ball tipped around. Thacker has it. He's in traffic. Can't get the shot off. Then the shot off, no good. Rebound back up. It's the... Uh, up and drops it in, Ashton Lane. How I got it to go, I don't know, but make it 45-41 now. Northam's with the ball and the lead. Lane now 19 points for Ironton. Young, back out there to Rothwell. Now, Osborne for a three oh, shot, yes. and he banged it. Well, he needed it. 48. 41, back to a seven point lead. Now get a stop. Carson Osborne now seven points for North Adams. Shrek. Working off the dribble, trying to work the screen by Thacker instead. Inside, and we'll get a block and uh, no call. That was a good no call. Rothwell on the rebound. Back again to Hessler, to Osborne. If anything, that would have been a player control foul, but we'll take the no call instead. Copas out top. Minute five to go in the third. Copas will step back, looks, and then goes to Osborne. We talked about it in the pregame. Next man up. That's what's so interesting about North Adams. There are so many weapons out there. Osborne, the winner of this game, by, by the way, goes on to play Minford. They knocked off Fairland in the game that was preceding this one. Copas off the screen. Again, Close. takes his time. Close to a five-second count out there. That's yeah. what you want. He. That's the matchup you want for Copas. Yeah. Bring Thacker out there. Yep. And he's drawing lots of attention now. We're down to 25 seconds in the third. And now he'll go to the corner. And back it'll come there to uh, Rothwell. Back out left side to Osborne. Osborne back out to Rothwell. Now Rothwell, turn around in front of the basket. Shot up, no good. Rebound, Thacker. Back the other way we go. Dribbling quickly ahead. Behind his back, Terry. Terry in the paint. Shot off balance, no good. Rebound tipped around. And it's out of bounds and a foul. Off North Adams. Point four seconds, and Mr. Ashton Lane's going to go to the free throw line. That foul called on Cody Hessler. That's only his first. Only two fouls called in that quarter against Ironton. He will shoot two. His team down by seven. He hits the first. Lane now at 20 points for Ironton. Swiker back in. With .4 to go seconds, and uh, Mr. Cody Hester, he'll step out. Lane does it all. He's two for two from the free throw line. As Ashton Lane, a 6'3 freshman, foul shot up and in. Make it 48-43 now, and that'll end the quarter. We're back after this. North Adams leads here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Who is Barry Chevrolet? Why don't you ask your friends and neighbors? Because after 70 years and four generations in the automotive industry, odds are we've made a happy customer out of somebody you know. Hard-working, proud Americans drive Chevrolets, and that's why we sell them at Barry's. Hats off to everybody driving a Silverado truck. You're my kind of people. Barry Chevrolet, your best deal dealer. Our beliefs matter. They're reflected in our words and actions. At First State Bank, we believe in treating people well and have since 1884. Listening, caring, looking out for each other. 
It's what people deserve. It's what a real local bank does. While lots of things have changed over the years, our belief in you hasn't. First State Bank. Built on belief. Snap. Girl. Snap. Girl. Oh, that's your family's stomach hungry for dinner. And the best way to tame that savage beast is by feeding it a beast pizza from Snappy Tomato Pizza. Beast pizza. The beast pizza is equal to three large pizzas. Get one with one topping, only $26.99. Or get the junior beast, bigger than an extra large, with one topping, only $15.99. For fast, snappy delivery, go to snappytomato.com. Snap it Adams, North Adams with possession. 48-43 is the score. Cubs will start the offense in the backcourt. Working there against Barnes. And he drives into the paint, and there'll be a travel call and a turnover. Yep. Uh, Copas was wanting a foul. Uh, he did not get it, and get he instead he gets the travel call. So Ironton will have the ball now, trailing by five, 48-43. Only the fourth turnover by North Adams in the entire game. Terry dribbles out top, and a steal by Swikert. Swikert goes to the middle of the paint, drives in for a layup, up and in. There we go. Breeston Swikert puts him back up, 50-43 to 43 now. 14 points for Mr. Swikert. As now dribbling in the paint, they go left side there to Lane and we'll have a foul against North Adams again. Mm. That foul's going to be called on Branson Copas. They're spreading the fouls around, but it's just the fact that there's a lot of them being called. Uh, and North Adams, again, only had one foul in that first half. Boy, it's a different story here in the second half. Branson Copas, that's his second foul, and he teams first. Foul shot is good. Mr. Ashton Lane, that six foot three freshman, now has 22 points in perfect from the free throw line, four for four. Boy, he's a nice looking freshman. Second foul shot up, and he makes that one as well. Make it 50 45. It's back to a five point lead. In the backcourt, Rothwell. They head right side to Osborne. Osborne back out to Copas. And Northampton has quit attacking the basket. They're pretty much sitting in the half court now. Copas back out to Swikert. Swikert kicks it left side. Young for a three shot. It's up. No. Rebound fought for. Back out. Young gets it back, and there'll be a foul. Nice rebound. Well, first it was a nice tip out by Carson Osborne. Nice it catch was. by Connor Young. Shrek picks up his third foul. Listen to C103 anywhere you are, anytime, any place. Go to your uh, Alexa device and also... Uh, of course, uh, go to C103.fm. Kind of yeah. like to see North Adams just take it right at Ashton Lane, see if he can't pick up that fourth foul. Three-pointer by Copas, no good. Rebound back down. Here we go back the other way again. Terry bounce pass ahead behind the defense. Oh. And a clear out block, Rothwell over Shrek. Nice Good block. job, Rothwell. 6.38 to go in our ball game. A five-point lead, North Adams. They need a stop here. And the basketball. Nice transition defense by North Adams. Great block by Jace Rothwell. Inbounds. They'll get it now there to Lane. To Shrek for a three shot up and in. 50-48. North Adams with a two-point lead. Goes in Rothwell. Shot up no good. Rebound back out. It'll go back to Ironton. And right now, Ironton is absolutely overwhelming North Adams. Inside Thackeray, he'll kick it left side to Shrek. Shrek, a three shot, up off the front, no good. Lane, excuse me, Terry on the rebound. Back out right side, he'll kick it back to Thackeray. He loses it back in, and North Adams ends up with it. We'll get a foul against Ironton. I believe that is going to be Mr. Lane's fourth. Great anticipation by Schweikert to uh, deflect that, or to intercept that pass. Ashton Lane, that is his fourth foul. He's the leading scorer in the game, 23 6.01 to go in our fourth quarter. North Adams clinging to a two-point lead, 50-48 the score. Rothwell will put the ball in play, looking for Copas, and it comes. Copas in the backcourt, back to Rothwell to find Osborne. Osborne into the paint, at the elbow for a quick shot there up and go. in. There we go. 52-48, that'll stretch that lead back to four. Carson Osborne, nine points in the game. 
With Adams leads. Terry bounce pass behind the defense to Shrek. Shrek shot up and in. 52-50, back to a two-point game again. Brady Shrek now four points shy of that 19-point per game average. Rothwell to Copas. Copas right side there to Young. Young inside, shot partially blocked. Good defense there on the part of Thacker. Back Ironton goes with an opportunity here to, to tie and or take the lead. Terry with the basketball. They'll go right side to Shrek. Shrek back out top again. A lot of time left here. There's a lot of basketball to be played here at the Convo yet tonight. 5.06 to go in our fourth and final quarter. Off the uh, right side to Thacker. Back to Thacker it goes and now top to Shrek. Back over again to the freshman Lane. Lane at the left elbow now. Shot up off the front side. High off the back there by Barnes. Rebound, Rothwell. With Adams gets it back, leading by two. And it's time for that H&R Block scoreboard update. H&R Block, your tax and financial partner in their office in West Union. The score, North Adams 52, Ironton 50. Swiker back out to Copas. Almost lost away. And they're going to call him for over and back. Hmm. He's down in front of us. I didn't think he stepped on it, but the referee was much closer than I am, so we'll assume that was accurate. We've got time out on the floor. We're back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. That's the sound of your truck losing you money. Whether you're a major trucking operation or an independent owner, you're losing business. Let me give you some advice. Call Willie and Son Trucking. Their certified Caterpillar, Cummings, and Detroit experts can get your truck moving so you can get back to doing business. Call Willie and Son Trucking for an overhaul or glider kit rebuild at 937-763-9521. Keep your business rolling with Willie and Son Trucking. I wanted to prove to myself that I could go to college and get my degree. What if I went to Southern State? What if I'm able to go and become that nurse or that lawyer or that teacher? Southern State Community College allows students to rise above the circumstances that they're surrounded by and become something more than they ever dreamed possible. What a ball game, folks. The score is 52 to 50. 424 to go in our fourth quarter. And Ironton will have the basketball trailing by two. This game has certainly been worth the price of admission. It certainly has. We hope you're enjoying it here on C103 and Good Guys Radio TV. As we'll go left side there to Lane. He's the man of the hour for Ironton. Only a freshman. Terry swings it back out to Thacker. So working around out top to Barnes now. Boy, he does not get many touches. Barnes does not. And a steal of the basketball. Rothwell. Rothwell on his knees. Gets it to Young. North Adams gets the stop, and they get the ball. What great floor presence by Mr. Jace Rothwell. Ahead. Right side to Young. Young dribbles around. Now to go to Copas. 3.48 to go. Copas works it over the right side, working there against Barnes. Barnes, again, has been... Ominously silent, but boy, has he been a uh, defensive stop for Copas. Now to Rothwell. And again, back out to Copas. Looking for that one-on-one -on -one matchup, it appears to be, for North Adams. Help side defense not real strong. Copas drives in, misses the shot. Rebound Thacker. Back out Ironton with the ball. North Adams got Terry. what they wanted, that one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. He blew by him, just couldn't get it to drop. Yes, if they can get that, they'll they'll win this ball game. To Thacker, the ball knocked away, and nice stop by Osborne, but they'll say he got more than basketball. It'll be a foul. Thanks again to season sponsors, including Health Source of Ohio, providing a unique and comprehensive approach to health right in your community. First, or excuse me, for Osborne, that is his first foul. Team second in this fourth quarter, 52 to 50. The score, 305 to go in the game. North Adams over top of Ironton Tigers. Sean Terry has the ball for the Tigers. He'll go to Shrek out off the wing. 
Shrek drives in, a shot was partially blocked, but again, another foul against North Adams, and he'll go to the foul line, and he has been deadly at that foul line. Connor Young's going to pick up his third foul. Yes, Mr. Shrek, uh, well, he won for three from the free oh, throw line. Oh, excuse me, I'm thinking of someone else. But he does, you're speaking of Mr. Ashton Lane, who is five for five. Shrek settles in, and the first foul shot is good. One-point ball game now, 52-51. 16 points now for Braden Shrek. He averages 19 on the season. If he makes this foul shot, it will be tied for the first time since a minute 43 to go in the first quarter, and we are tied 52 all with 2.52 to go in the fourth. Now North Adams with the ball. Dribbles right side, Rothwell. And to Young. We've got Sean Terry attempting to deny Copas the basketball. Now to Rothwell. And Rothwell goes in and a hesitation shot. Nope, but he's fouled. He'll shoot two foul shots. We'll take that. Shrek's going to pick up his fourth foul. If we can do a little more of that because Ironton is neck deep in foul trouble. I agree. Shrek and Lane, the two biggest scorers. Shrek with 17, Lane with 23. Both of them have four fouls. Rothwell at the foul line will shoot two. Chase Rothwell one for three from the free throw line. Make that two for four. Lord yeah. Adamson, I'm sorry. No, no, Cody Hester is going to check back into the game. He will replace Connor Young. So Adams retakes the lead here. Chase Rothwell now 13 points in the game. 53-52 the score. And he hits the second one to there make it go. a two-point lead. 54-52 now. Lord Adams leading. Terry with the ball. Out right side, now Lane. And we'll get a foul against Swiker. That'll be the end of Lane right there. Oh, no, they're going to say player control foul. Lowered oh, that, my goodness. Lowered that left shoulder. So Ashton Lane, he checks out. Five fouls, 2.23 to go in the fourth quarter. That is a huge foul. I have that as the fourth team foul only. Markel Cotton comes in to replace. We saw him briefly in the first half, didn't we? We did. Connor Young back into the game. So you have Young, Swikert, Copas, Osborne, Rothwell for North Adams. Rothwell will put the ball in play for North Adams, and it'll come to Osborne. Osborne in the backcourt. Back ahead, it'll come to Rothwell. Rothwell's going to take it to the hole. Rothwell, and he gets fouled. He'll shoot two foul shots. Split the defenders, Mr. Jace Rothwell. He just hit two free throws. He's going to go back to the line, and that foul is going to be called on Bailey Thacker. That's his third. Fifth team foul. Every foul committed now by Ironton will put North Adams on the line to shoot two. Only three team fouls in the fourth quarter on North Adams. Rothwell's first foul shot is good. 55-52 now. Connor Young's going to step back out. Cody Hessler's going to step back in. Offense, defense. 15 points now for Mr. Jace Rothwell. He settles in. It's in the air and bounces off. Rebound Thacker. So North Adams up by three now, 55-52. 2-12 to go in the ball game. With the ball, Shrek. He'll feed it there to Terry. Working against Hessler. And inside, the ball lost away, lost away. They'll get it back to Shrek off the left side. Nice closeout defense on Shrek to avoid that three-point shot. Now over to Cotton, and almost taken away again, and we'll get a foul against North Adams. I thought it was going to be on Hessler, but I think it's going to be on Swikert instead. No, it is going to be on Cody Hessler. Cody Hessler just picked up his second team's fourth. Now all fouls will put the opponent on the line to shoot two. 151 to go, fourth quarter, three-point lead North Adams, 55-52. Ironton will put the ball in play on the opposite side of the floor from our perspective on their end of the floor. As bounce pass, and it'll come to Terry. Terry in the paint for a shot up and one. Sean Terry, his eighth point of the game. Nice drive by the point guard. 55-54, he can tie this ball game again. Jace Rothwell picked up that foul, his second. Connor Young comes back in for Cody Hessler from North Adams. North Adams clinging to a one-point lead, 55-54. Sean Terry at the line to shoot a free throw. 
Minute 47 to go in our ball game. Terry at the foul line. He ties the game for the second time here in the fourth quarter. Timeout on the floor. We're back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Welcome to Jerry Haig Motors in Hillsboro, your local Chevrolet dealer for over 50 years. I am Steve Haig, owner, along with my twin daughters, Mindy and Mandy. We operate our family-owned business. We take care of our customers like friends and family. If you need a new Chevrolet or pre-owned vehicle, service, parts, or body shop, think of Jerry Haig Motors in Hillsboro. Proudly supporting the youth of our community. Stop in today for a great deal. Trade-ins welcome. Financing available to qualified buyers. Do you have a roofing or siding project? At Higgins, they manufacture steel roofing and siding every business day. With 17 colors in stock and 70,000 pieces of trim, they are prepared to ship your project immediately. Remember Higgins for your 40-year warranted, Energy Star compliant, American-made steel roofing and siding. Located seven miles west of Hillsboro on US Route 50 and on AC Avenue, just off 35 in Jackson. Call 800-782-4239 or visit them on the web at HigginsRoofing.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I want to remind everybody that, uh, you know, we cover North Adams all season long, and we would be uh, remiss if we didn't say to you that we uh, favor North Adams, but we say that from the get-go. We treat the other teams highly with respect. And we will always respectfully speak to their players, uh, of their players, and with some great success and health. But uh, there's no question we are uh, here to cover North Adams. Uh, we appreciate everybody watching our ball game. Copas in the backcourt. High ball game, minute 42 to go in the ball game. Rothwell with the basketball. Dribbles around, back out to Copas. Tie score 55 all. Right side, it'll go to Hessler. Excuse me, to Osborne. Now to Young, now to Copas. Down to minute 26. Copas dribbles in off the right side. Hopping a skip, puts it up. The ball pops back out, but Copas gets it back up. And no, the foul will be on the floor. So Branson Copas will go to the foul line with a minute 19 to go in our fourth and final quarter. The game tied at 55 all. The foul is going to be called on Bailey Thacker. That's his fourth. So Thacker and Shrek each have four fouls right now. Three on Sean Terry. As far as uh, North Adams, only Connor Young with three fouls. North Adams retakes the lead, 56-55, for a minute 19 to go in our fourth quarter. Settles in and misses the second one. Rebound back out. Now it'll come down, out ahead, off the right side, Terry. One-point ball game, minute 14 to go. North Adams up by one. Out off the left side, there to Barnes, back to Terry it goes. Terry, a couple of crossovers off the screen, then far right side, Shrek for a three. It's high off the back, no good. Rebound down underneath, out of there, it's Osborne. 58 seconds to go in our ball game. And we'll have time out on the floor. We're back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. So I thought you quit. I tried. You know that thing can blow up in your face, right? We just watched a video in class about how nicotine can mess up the way your brain develops. (laughs) That's the last thing you need. But for real, you should probably tell your parents. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, can you come with me? Yeah, I got you. Let's go. It's almost here. Copas for another long three. Wow. The biggest game of the year. Three-point shot on the buzzer. It's up. It's good. The 39th annual C103 Shaq Senior All-Star Games are coming Friday, March 22nd. Join us at North Adams High School for a night full of basketball action. Featuring the girls and boys All-Star Games, All-Star Cheerleaders, Hot Shot and Slam Dunk Contests, and more. Doors open at 5. The first games tip off at 6 p.m. Be there. North Adams has the ball in the backcourt. They lead by one. Rothwell will pull the trigger. He is, uh, as Ironton comes out, straight up man-to-man, full court pressure. They are going to defend the inbound pass. Any foul puts the opponent on the line to shoot two. And that's either direction. 
as Rothwell looking, looking off the screen. Finally, they'll try to get it, and in they'll get it now to Swikert. Swikert is fouled. He'll shoot two foul shots. In the game, for purposes of committing that foul, Markle Cotton, he's a six foot two junior. He does commit that foul. Mr. Schweikert's going to go to the free throw line. He didn't finish the first half at the free throw line. He's one for four. Breeston Schweikert has 14 points in the game. 56-55 the score. Schweikert settles in and misses the first foul shot. Either way, whether he hit both of them or not, it's still a single possession game. He'll Cody Hester back in the game. Excuse me, Don. You're fine. Connor Young out. He'll get a second foul shot here. And he misses it. And rebound back down. So the strategy works. Ironton gets the ball back, trailing by one. Down to 50 seconds now. Shrek feeds it there to, to Terry. Terry quickly into the paint, a hop and a skip. And he misses the shot, but there'll be a foul against North Adams, I think. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Yeah, Ironton as well feels they can take the player off the dribble. In that case, it was Cody Hester committing the foul. Back at the free throw line, Sean Terry, he is one for one from the free throw line. He's a 66% free throw shooter coming into tonight's game, 57 for 86 for, from the free throw line. He can tie and or give his team the lead here as he misses the first foul shot. Connor Young back in, Cody Hester back out. Again, you're listening to C-103 and watching Good Guys Radio TV. At the foul line, Sean Terry. Second foul shot, it's good, we're tied. 56 all with 43 seconds to go in our ball game. Mr. Terry now in double digits with 10 points. North Adams has the basketball at their top. Copus works against Barnes. It's been a matchup all night long. Barnes has really worked hard. He's done a nice job on Branson Copas. Swikert dribbles around, picks up the ball, goes their left side to Rothwell. Rothwell goes into the paint, and we'll get a foul called against Sean Terry. He's going to pick up his fourth foul. That was inadvertent. That was not intended. 16.2 seconds to go in our ball game. We're tied at 56 all. Chase Rothwell will go to the foul line for the North Adams Green Devils. If this game goes into overtime, which is still a possibility, they have two more players, Ironton does, Shrek and Terry with four fouls. Foul shot, hits the soft part and rolls in. Chase Big. Rothwell. 57-56. 16 points for Jace. He's five for eight from the free throw line. Takes his time, settles in. Second one's in the air, and he makes it. 58-56, North Adams by two. Plenty of time, though. We have time out on the floor. We're back after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C-103. It's almost here. Copas for another long three. Wow. The biggest game of the year. Three-point shot on the buzzer. It's oh! up. It's good. The 39th annual C-103 Shack Senior All-Star Games are coming Friday, March 22nd. Join us at North Adams High School for a night full of basketball action. Featuring the girls and boys All-Star Games, All-Star Cheerleaders, Hot Shot and Slam Dunk Contests, and more. Doors open at 5. The first games tip off at 6 p.m. Be there. Score is 58-56. North Amps with the lead. 16.2 seconds to go in our ball game. Ironton has the basketball and trailing. And uh, I don't think, you know, there's a conversation I guess could be had that you foul them to keep them from shooting the three-point shot. I think the main thing is just close out on Shrek. And they've got to do something to stop dribble penetration by Sean Terry. 16.2 seconds to go. They'll put it in play at the opposite end of the floor from their basket, Ironton will. Barnes will pull the trigger. He'll come into Terry. The only North Adams player in the backcourt uh, is going to be Cody Hessler. And he'll show token pressure. Terry quickly ahead off the left side. He'll dish it there to Shrek. Shrek dribbling into the paint. The ball lost away. North Adams has it. Out ahead, Osborne. Out of the right side, Hessler. And we're going to have, they're going to give him the foul in the backcourt. I think they are. 6.9 6 seconds to go. North Adams with the lead. Going to the foul line will be Carson Osborne. Carson Osborne. Carson Osborne, 82% free throw shooter. Hasn't been there often this season, 11 times. 
but he's knocked down nine of them. We have another timeout on the floor. We'll be back after this on Good Guys Radio TV Network and C103. Daggummit. Hey, honey, have you called Roberts Paving about coming out to fix these potholes in our road yet? No, not yet. Why do you ask? Daggummit. Oh, no reason. Roberts Paving Incorporated in Hillsboro, offering commercial and residential asphalt paving in southwest Ohio. Roadways, parking lots, driveways, asphalt seal coating, Roberts Paving does it all. Call today at 937-442-5595. Roberts Paving says good luck to all of our Shack teams this year. Daggummit. Big box home improvement stores don't brag about their customer service and knowledgeable staff. And that's because they rarely have... 6.9 seconds to go, and I'm just choked up on this entire <laughs> ball game. And uh, going to the foul line will be Carson Osborne to shoot two foul shots. Again, Carson Osborne, he's been in the free throw line 11 times this season. He's hit nine of them, 82%. One foul shot leaves this a single possession game. Two makes it a two possession. He hits the first. Again, 6.9 seconds to go. It is now a single possession game, three points difference. Carson Osborne settles in, Sec hits the second when it's a two possession game. And now Ironton with the ball. Shrek inbounds there to Barnes. Barnes dribbles ahead, right side. He puts a shot up, misses it, rebound, tipped around. North Adams has it. That's the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. The North Adams Green Devils are going on to the district championship. They will play Minford. We're back after this. Up next, it's the Williamson Trucking Post Game Show here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Big box home improvement stores don't brag about their customer service and knowledgeable staff. And that's because they rarely have either one. Do you really want electrical and plumbing advice from a person who was assembling patio furniture yesterday? Nope. Get what you need from the pros at West Union Electric and Plumbing Supply. They now have an expanded hardware line to complement the electrical and plumbing parts, plus handy tips and advice to help you get the job done. West Union Electric and Plumbing Supply, one block south of the courthouse on Walnut Street in West Union. Gas mileage is very important when the price of gas just keeps going up. And if you're driving around on old worn out tires, you're wasting gas. Vehicle out of alignment? That's another gas sucker. Check engine light on? Yep, that's just more gas down the tailpipe. Get the most out of every gallon of gas with a visit to Tanya's Tires, Service and Rental in West Union. Located on Lloyd Road between West Union High School and West Union Elementary. Call 937-544-4106 to schedule your appointment today. Trust Tanya's care for your auto repair at Tanya's Tire Service and Rental in West Union. Now offering alignments and service for tractor tires. ProGen's next generation technology flooring is designed to stand up to the demands of modern life. And it's available now at the Winchester Carpet Outlet. Because ProGen is durable, waterproof, dimensionally stable, and easy to install, it can be used in any room, including rooms that are most prone to moisture and spills, like kitchens and baths. For top quality flooring, service, and selection at prices that'll floor you, visit the Winchester Carpet Outlet, just off State Route 32 on Tri-County Road, just a few miles west of Winchester, Ohio, and online at Winchester Carpet Outlet. Outlet .com. Our business is helping you grow. We're Baxler Tractor. We take care of you like family. We've been growing since 1946. As your Kubota dealer, our focus is to help you grow today and into the future. Stop by one of our locations today, visit with our folks, and see our entire lineup of Kubota products. Our business is helping you grow.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As a, what a ball game. Uh, just a fun game. And, of course, I know you know it's easier for me to say since uh, the North Adams Green Devils, the team that we always cover, comes away the winner. But, gee whiz, in the first quarter, it was uh, tied early as it is often back and forth. 6.19 to go. It was tied. Ironton took the lead, though, with uh, a little over six minutes to go in the first quarter, and they were to lead all the way up uh, to ten, until the score was 10-9. Then with the score 11 to 10 and a minute 43 to go in the first quarter, North Adams takes their first lead of the ball game, and they led at the first quarter break, 15 to 12. In the second quarter, it was all North Adams. North Adams absolutely dominated Ironton uh, offensively as they outscored them 13 to 8 and took an 18-point lead into the locker room, leading 38 to 20 at the half. In the third quarter. It was all Ironton. Ironton came out like a house of fire, and they set North Adams back on their heels. North Adams, having only committed one foul in the first half, got did not get in foul trouble, but found themselves sending Ironton to the foul line several times. In the third quarter, Ironton outscored North Adams by a 23-10 uh, to 10 score. And then in the fourth, and quor- fourth quarter, it was as it should be. It was back and forth, back and forth. With two minutes and 52 seconds to go, it was tied for the first time in the fourth quarter. With 2.31 to go, North Adams took a 53-52 lead. It was tied again at a minute 47. North Adams led again at a minute 19. It was tied at 45 seconds. And then North Adams was to take the lead with 16.2 seconds to go. 57-56 was the score. North Adams took the lead for the last and for the uh, final time to go on and win the ball game by four. North Adams... Uh, Moves on to play Menford. Up next, it's our ACRMC Coaches Comment Show. Joining me will be Coach Nathan Copas with the North Adams Green Devils right after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Southern Ohio is nationally known as the hot spot for trophy whitetail deer hunting. That's why the Dickey Group Realtors receive multiple calls every day from whitetail deer hunters who are looking to purchase land in Southern Ohio. So if you have property, no matter how large or small, the Dickey Group Realtors want to talk to you. It's deer season right now, so strike while the iron is hot. Call Jeff Dickey today at 937-393-7222 or visit thedickeygroup.com. Insurance protection for you and your family. John Wood Insurance has helped thousands of families with their insurance needs since 1891. For service you can trust, contact John Wood Insurance in Georgetown at 937-378-4124, in Owensville at 513-732-2600, in West Union at 937-544-5505, or in Peebles at 937-587-2246. That's John Wood Insurance. That, that, we had a really good second half. I said first quarter early, we were a little quick to pull the triggers. Uh, we, we came out hot against uh, Zane's Trace, and they want us to take good looks, but I didn't feel like the ball was moving like we wanted to move because we can get them same shots, getting the ball moving. And uh, we, we were settling a little bit. Then we finally got, got a little more movement, um, settled down just a little bit, and started hitting some shots, and that was it to separate it. Um, but then we go second half, it's the same as against St. Strait. So we just, I don't know if we're just not mentally focused coming out or we, we get that cushion, we get a little comfortable or what it is, but we got to be better. We got to play more than just a couple quarters. Well, and in the, in the second quarter, in the second quarter, you were attacking the basket. Second quarter, they took that away, or third quarter, excuse me, out of the halftime, they took that away from you and took it right back to you. They started attacking yeah. the basket on you. They, they had a 8-0 run um, and – you know, they hit a shot. Uh, we, we was having some success with the zone. They hit a shot out of our zone. Uh, they get a couple run outs. And then we just didn't do a good job keeping off the board. So 31, he, he just killed us all night long on the boards. Um, and he's going to be – he's just, a, I think, freshman or sophomore. He's, he's a he, freshman. Yeah. Uh, he's going to be a heck of a player. Just, you know, I just said I, anybody else can rebound. Just not him. Just somebody go put a body on him, please. And he just really hurt us bad. And then getting some man ones and then – and we got a we we had Jason and Carson made some free throws. Branson clanked one. Branson missed a few. Uh, we got to knock those down uh, down the stretch. Yeah, this was not one of your best performances from the foul line. But but the bottom line, I said this in our pregame. I call it next man up. The key to your ball club truly is that it's five or six players that contribute, and it's that's what won the ball game without question tonight. Oh, absolutely. You don't get to this level having one or maybe just two guys. I mean, you you got to have a team that 
you know, goes and makes big plays for you. And it ain't always just getting the basket. It's it's taking the charge. Um, it's it's doing that great check out and getting that well, over the, the back end. off. They're at yeah. the end, the scramble. Yeah, and coming up with the loose balls. And you know, you know, I thought they played harder than us a lot of the times. You know, they, they, they were first on the ground after things and and whatnot. But uh, like I told him, I said the second half wasn't wasn't good. We had some good moments. We had some good possessions here and there, but we didn't play very well second half. Saturday we're going to have four good quarters, and yes. uh, and we're going to have to have a little better continuity to the offense and and some things. But we got four or five days here to prepare for that. Well, and again they come out and and they pay. We talk about this often. They pay a lot of attention to Branson, and that opens things up for other people. But again, it's it's the, that loose ball rebound. It's that extra effort that's going to make a difference, especially against a ball club like Menford. Menford, a team that can is resilient. They took a real hard hit from Fairland tonight. Came back and won the ball game anyway. You've seen them. Uh, what what's going to be di- what are you going to have to do different this next time you meet them? Well, hopefully we shoot the ball better than we did the first time right. we played them. We, we shot up 21 percent from the field. Um, it, it, they, they're no secret. They're no, we're no secret to them. They're no secret to us. I mean, we've played them over the years. Uh, they're a three-headed monster, and their role players are playing better and better. Um, and and it's we got to go compete for 32 minutes, and that's just what's going to be. It's for a district championship. It shouldn't be a cakewalk. It should be something where you have to go out and it. You got two great teams coming in to play against each other. It's going to be. Who, who has the least mental breakdowns, who executes a little better, who gets those 50-50 balls, um, you know, who steps to that line, knocks those free throws down. Um, I'm just, just blessed to have the opportunity to get back here. Absolutely. The key to that, doesn't matter the score, you're back at the na- district championship. Yeah, and, and that's, you know, that's the goal at the beginning of the year. So far, um, we've been able to achieve a lot of the goals that we've set, and one of them was to get back to the district championship and give ourselves an opportunity to, to win another district, district championship. So, Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can do that. Well, and one final comment uh, before we before we f- conclude here, uh, you get to come back having seen the floor. You yeah. finish the first quarter, the first four minutes, everybody's out there feeling a little uncomfortable, a little different. But you come back here on Saturday much more comfortable, and it's more like home. Yeah, and that's what I said last year. A lot of these guys got some experience here, um, you know, getting to play a couple games here. So I was hoping that would play into that tonight, and I think it did. I mean, I, I, we were a little more comfortable this year than we were last year the first time we was here. But um, it was a pretty big game the first time we was here last year. So uh, I mean, we're just we're due to put a good four four quarters together, and it would be no better time than next Saturday. But we, like I said, we got four or five days here where we got to put some put some work on tape and some work in practice, and and keep guys healthy and and come give it the best shot. Nathan, good luck. I appreciate it. Nathan Copas joins us here our ACRMC Coaches Comment Show. We'll be right back as we continue with our William Sun Post Game Show here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. Team sports teach the young men and women of our community how to work together to achieve a common goal. They also reinforce other character traits such as respect, dedication, and self-discipline. The family of Wallace Thompson Funeral Homes with locations in Peebles, Seaman, and Winchester salute the teams of the Southern Hills Athletic Conference and wish you the best of luck. The family of Wallace Thompson Funeral Homes, providing the care and service that you and your family deserve. Who is Barry Chevrolet? Why don't you ask your friends and neighbors? Because after 70 years and four generations in the automotive industry, odds are we've made a happy customer out of somebody you know. Hard-working, proud Americans drive Chevrolets, and that's why we sell them at Barry's. Hats off to everybody driving a Silverado truck. You're my kind of people. Barry Chevrolet, your best deal dealer. Our beliefs matter. They're reflected in our words and actions. At First State Bank, we believe in treating people well and have since 1884. Listening, caring, looking out for each other. It's what people deserve. It's what a real local bank does. While lots of things have changed over the years, our belief in you hasn't. First State Bank, built on belief. Snap, 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 Oh, that's your family's stomach hungry for dinner. And the best way to tame that savage beast is by feeding it a beast pizza from Snappy Tomato Pizza. Beast pizza. The beast pizza is equal to three large pizzas. Get one with one topping, only $26.99. Or get the junior beast, bigger than an extra large, with one topping, only $15.99. For fast, snappy delivery, go to snappytomato.com.
back, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Willing Sun Trucking Post Game Show. Here is the inimitable Mr. Brett Spencer with Thank individual you. team stats for both ball clubs. Thank you, Don Bowles. Hey, congratulations to our North Adams Green Devils. What a victory. 60-56 to 56 was the final score, and congratulations to Ironton. Uh, they gave North Adams everything they could want, and apparently they've, uh, what well, we're looking at, they've had a great season as well. So congratulations to the Ironton Tigers as well. The uh, first quarter, Ironton came out and shot 6 for 16 from the field. That's 38%. They were 0 for 4 from beyond the arc. That first four minutes, they roared out, but it was North Adams that took a lead at the first quarter break, 15 to 12 over Ironton. In that second quarter, that's where North Adams just had a big second quarter. North, uh, Ironton shot 4 for 11 from the field. That's 36%. They were still unable to drop a three-pointer, went 0 for 2 overall in the first half for Ironton, 10 for 27 from the field, 37%, 0 for 6 from beyond the arc. That three-point lead for North Adams, it had now jumped up to 18, 38, 20, and we were all feeling great. Well, the third quarter flipped, and it was uh, Ironton who came out. They shot 75% from both the field and from beyond the arc. They went 8 for 12 from the field. That's 75%. 3 for 4 from beyond the arc. You know that's 75%. And all of a sudden, that 18-point lead had dropped to 5, 48-43. North Adams still on top. Fourth quarter. Well, there weren't many shots taken by either ball club. A lot of good defense. A lot of times at the free throw line. Uh, for Ironton, they shot three for eight from the field, 38%. They did get a three-pointer from Shrek, one for three from beyond the arc, 33% overall. In the second half, 11 for 20 from the field, 55%. Nice second half. And four for seven from beyond the arc, 57%. Again, nice shooting in that second half. Overall in the game, for Ironton, 21, to 40, 21 for 47 from the field, that's 45%. That wins a lot of ball games. And four for 13 from beyond the arc, 31%. Again, wins a lot of ball games. But in this case, it was North Adams victorious. 60 to 56 was the final score. No free throws were taken by Ironton in that first half. In fact, there was only one foul called against North Adams in that first half. That was on Mr. Branson Copas. In the second half, Ironton got to the free throw line 14 times. Very efficient. They, they knocked down 10 of them. That's 71.4% for not only the second half, but also for the game. Now, they had uh, only a total of four players get into the scoring column. It was uh, Judah Barnes in that uh, third quarter when Ironton came out like a house of fire. He had two three-pointers. He finished with six points. He also finished with one foul. The next three players were all in uh, double digits. Sean Terry, who averages 13.3 tonight, he had 10. He went two for three from the free throw line. He was in a little bit of foul trouble, but he didn't get much bench time with that foul trouble. He committed four fouls. Braden Shrek averages 19 points a game. He's a six foot two junior. Tonight he had 17, three for five from the free throw line. He committed four fouls. And then a fantastic freshman. My goodness, Ashton Lane, he's six foot three. He's a freshman. Tonight he had 23 points. He had uh, six in the first quarter. He came right back with another four second quarter. In that third quarter, when they were going. Absolutely berserk offensively. He had 11 points in the third quarter. He finished with a total of 23. He fouled out with 2.23 to go in the fourth quarter. Again, Ashton Lane, 23 points. He was your leading scorer for the game. Now, for North Adams. And by the way, he can play on my team anytime he yeah. wants to play. Yeah, he's a he's right? a, Yeah, and he uh, he flushed one, too, in that third quarter. I mean, it was a little bit of a breakaway, but he flushed one, and the Ironton fans went crazy. I like a good slam dunk, and that was a good slam dunk. It he, was. He it was, was in traffic, and it was by a yeah. guy that is not blessed with 6'8 height. No, 6'3, but, man, did he have some hops. But uh, nice nice freshman, nice game by Mr. Ashton Lane. Now, our North Adams Green Devils, thank you uh, for the journey you took us on tonight. It was fun. Uh, it was anxious at times, but it was fun. North Adams Green Devils in that first quarter shot 7 for 14 from the field, 50%. 0 for 5 from beyond the arc, but they had a three-point lead at the first quarter break. Uh, 15 to 12. Second quarter, it was all North Adams. 8 for 11 from the field, 73%. 4 for 6 from beyond the arc, 67%. And they had an 18 point lead, 38 to 20 at the halftime break. In the third quarter, that was Ironton's quarter. Uh, North Adams went 4 for 11 from the field, 36%. 1 for 5 from beyond the arc, that's 20%. 18 point lead, you heard me talk about it earlier looking at Ironton stats. 18 point lead for North Adams, now down to 5, 48 43. In that fourth quarter, again, not many shots. Ball control was the, the key. They shot two for seven from the field, 29%. 0 for one from beyond the arc overall in the second half. Six for 18 from the field, 33%. 1 for six from beyond the arc, 17% for the game. North Adams, 21 for 43. They took four less uh, field goal attempts than did Ironton. That's 49%. 
and uh, but they took four more three-point attempts. They went five for 17. That's 29%. That final score again, 60 to 56. Congratulations, North Adams Green Devils, and that fan base, that that very loyal fan base that travels very well from the free throw line. North Adams struggled. They came in. Uh, shooting 67% from the free throw line in that first half, went 5 for 13, 38%. Second half, uh, 9 for 14, 64% overall, 14 for 27, 52%. But here's the important part. It was 56-56. Mr. Jace Rothwell gets fouled. He goes to the free throw line. Cooley drops two of them. And then Osborne, Mr. Carson Osborne, Carson Osborne, excuse me, goes to the free throw line, and he, Cooley, dropped two more. So the last four free throws, North Adams stood tall in uh, knocking down those four free throws. Uh, they had five players get in the scoring column. It was uh, Connor Young in that uh, second quarter came in, hit two from the left wing, two three-pointers. He finished with six points, 0 for 1 from the free throw line. He also committed three fouls. And you have four players in double digits. Mr. Carson Osborne, what a game. He, had, uh, he averages 8.5 tonight. He had 11. He went two for three from the free throw line. He also committed one foul. Next you have Mr. Branson Copas. Branson kept uh, every time they wanted to do a trap. Branson's the key to, key tonight for Branson was that they just couldn't simply trap him. He was either going to split the defense or he was going to dribble uh, past them. And so uh, Branson Cope has kept them at bay on that trap. He had 12 points on the evening, 5 for 8 from the free throw line. He committed two fouls. Next you have Mr. Breeston Swiker. He had 14 points, 6 rebounds. He was really in that first half had 5 of those rebounds. 14 points for Breeston Swikert, one for six from the free throw line. He committed two fouls. And then the player, uh, Jace Rothwell, he was your leading scorer for North Adams. He had 17 points, six for nine from the free throw line. He had two free throws at the very end uh, to uh, give them the two-point lead. And then Carson Osborne again hit the next two free throws to give them that four-point victory. Also, Jace Rothwell had five rebounds, but it was his defense. He had a couple of nice clear-out blocks. He also was courageous every time it looked like we were going to go stale he would take the ball to the hole get a foul and uh, or make the basket so uh, jace rothwell leading score for north adams 17.6 for nine from the free throw line brent i find it interesting we talk about uh, uh quarter scores in the first half north adams outscored ironton 38 20 second half ironton outscored them 36 22 that 38 points in that first half so critical <laughs> And you think about, you know, you, you look back and say, oh, we lost it because we missed a shot at the end. Oh, no, no. It's a it's a game, right? It's the entire game, right? That was, you know, I, I, when we were on halftime break, I thought that may have been the uh, perfect first half, but it really wasn't. That first four minutes was a little treacherous for it North was. Adams. It was. Ironton came out, had control. Nathan Copas, very experienced coach, calls a timeout. They come back out and go out on that big run, 33-10 uh, to 10 overall in that, uh, in that process, or 33-15, to 15, excuse me. And so, uh, what a great uh, timeout! But yeah, it was a uh, it was a very nice first half, but not the perfect first half. We'll take a quick break. One final break here. Willie and Son Trucking post game show continues. Up next, we'll name our snappy tomato pizza player of the game, and more after this on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. That's the sound of your truck losing you money. Whether you're a major trucking operation or an independent owner, you're losing business. Let me give you some advice. Call Willie and Son Trucking. Their certified Caterpillar, Cummings, and Detroit experts can get your truck moving so you can get back to doing business. Call Willie and Son Trucking for an overhaul or letter kit rebuild at 937 763 9521. Keep your business rolling with Willie and Son Trucking. I wanted to prove to myself that I could go to college and get my degree. What if I went to Southern State? What if I'm able to go and become that nurse or that lawyer or that teacher? Southern State Community College allows students to rise above the circumstances that they're surrounded by and become something more than they ever dreamed possible. Welcome to Jerry Hig Motors in Hillsborough, your local Chevrolet dealer for over 50 years. I am Steve Haig, owner, along with my twin daughters, Mindy and Mandy. We operate our family-owned business. We take care of our customers like friends and family. If you need a new Chevrolet or pre-owned vehicle, service, parts, or body shop, think of Jerry Haig Motors in Hillsborough. Proudly supporting the youth of our community. Stop in today for a great deal. Trade-ins welcome, financing available to qualified buyers. 
Do you have a roofing or siding project? At Higgins, they manufacture steel roofing and siding every business day. With 17 colors in stock and 70,000 pieces of trim, they are prepared to ship your project immediately. Remember Higgins for your 40-year warranted, Energy Star compliant, American-made steel roofing and siding. Located seven miles west of Hillsboro on US Route 50 and on AC Avenue, just off 35 in Jackson. Call 800-782-4239 or visit them on the web at HigginsRoofing.com. Welcome back again the Willie and Son Post Game Show. Willie and Son Parking Post Game Show. It's now time to name our Snappy Tomato Pizza Player of the Game. Mr. Brett Spencer, uh, <laughs> this was a fun game to award it on. Um, fun game. Uh, I tell you what, the North Adams fan base, in fact, we were just sitting here looking. Great friend of mine, Mr. John Paul Kennedy, he's out in the barn with a cow having a calf, and he's sending us, he's listening to this game and watching this game. Glad he was listening along with all those other great and loyal fans over at North Adams. But great to have him along with us. Yes, it was. Snappy Tomato Pizza player of the game. Don Bowles, I know you're probably going to cover this. But before I do that, Sportsmanship and Integrity Media Service Award, Mr. Ken Smith. Congratulations. He's providing opportunities to showcase student athletes. Don Bowles, I think you were the recipient of that a couple of years ago as well. Thanks for everything that your station and your staff does to showcase these oh. student athletes and, and uh, to allow them to step up on such a nice, beautiful platform that you provide for oh. them. But your snappy tomato pizza player <laughs> of the game. I'll get back to business, Don Bowles. Uh, Carson Osborne, uh, if we're arguing in front of a jury, he would be one that you could argue that uh, he deserved the uh, snappy tomato pizza please. Snappy Tomato Pizza player of the game. Easy for you Excuse to me. say, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, he had just some tremendous free throws right there at the end to give make it a two-possession game. He finished with 11 points. Great defense tonight. Hustling everywhere. Good ball handling. Again, Carson Osborne had 11 points, two for three from the free throw line. Branson Copas kept everybody at bay uh, as far as defensively, trying to do any trapping upon uh, North Adams, let them get into their offense. Another argument is uh, strong for him, five for eight from the free throw line. Brees and Swikert, disruptive uh, on the uh, defensive boards and on the offensive boards. He had 14 points tonight. Uh, again, another great argument for him. But the young man that's going to be your snappy tomato pizza player of the game, he stands six foot one inches tall. He's a junior. Uh, he wears the number two jersey. His name, Mr. Jace Rothwell. Congratulations to you, Mr. Rothwell. You are the snappy tomato pizza in Seaman and West Union player of the game. Congratulations, Jason. Of course, the North Adams Green Devils. We have one more thing to take care of. We'll do that right after this on the Willie and Son Trucking Post Game Show here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103. <laughs> So I thought you quit. I tried. You know that thing can blow up in your face, right? We just watched a video in class about how nicotine can mess up the way your brain develops. <laughs> That's the last thing you need. But for real, you should probably tell your parents. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, can you come with me? Yeah, I got you. Let's go. It's almost here. Copas for another long three. Wow. The biggest game of the year. Three-point shot on the buzzer. It's oh! up. It's good. The 39th annual C-103 Shaq Senior All-Star Games are coming Friday, March 22nd. Join us at North Adams High School for a night full of basketball action. Featuring the girls and boys All-Star Games, All-Star Cheerleaders, Hot Shot and Slam Dunk Contests, and more. Doors open at 5. The first games tip off at 6 p.m. Be there. From the ashes of Winchester, Seaman, and Cherry Fork, was born the North Adams High School in 1970. North Adams fans are proud of their heritage, but come together as one, supporting the students academically and athletically. We always bring a crowd as the spirit of the Green Devil burns inside of us. We learn to tell our story from coast to coast. We are the Green Devils. Daggummit. Hey, honey, have you called Robert's Paving about coming out to fix these potholes in our road yet? No, not yet. Why do you ask? Daggummit. Oh, 
no reason. Roberts Paving Incorporated in Hillsboro, offering commercial and residential asphalt paving in Southwest Ohio. Roadways, parking lots, driveways, asphalt seal coating, Roberts Paving does it all. Call today at 937-442-5595. Roberts Paving says good luck to all of our Shack teams this year. Daggummit. For championship, the number one seed, if you're asking, is Wheelersburg. They did win today, and they will play uh, on the other side of the bracket. Uh, these two teams played earlier. Menford won the ball game. I think you just throw that out and you start all over. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can't look in the rearview mirror on that. It was a pretty convincing victory by 18-point um, victory, I believe. Maybe not quite that much, but it was a uh, substantial victory by Minford. Um, and, in fact, the score was 53-35. to 35. It was back on December the 12th. And, and that was uh, – here's North Adams now on a nice run – and uh, so, yeah, can they handle Memphis after watching them tonight, both ball clubs? Absolutely, no question about it. Well, and uh, in addition to not only being back on December 12th, uh, but you heard uh, Coach Nathan Copas in the interview, uh, they shot 23% from the field. I don't think they'll shoot like that uh, when it comes here Saturday. Hopefully not. So, uh, anyway, that's who they come back and play. One further thing I want to – the OASSA first place state finals. First place at the state finals at Big Walnut High School. Congratulations, North Adams Varsity cheerleaders. Now, the rest of the schedule for the week. As we'll come back on Wednesday night, we'll be back on there where Wednesday night will be North Adams Lady Green Devils. From Logan High School, we'll be on there at about 5.15, game time 6 p.m. at C103 and Good Guys Radio TV. That's a regional semifinal basketball game. Then on Friday night, Fairfield uh, will... Uh, be back here at Ohio University, and that game will be at 8.15. We'll be on the air at about 7.30. Again, C103 and Good Guys Radio TV. And then, of course, as we said, North Adams versus Menford on Saturday. And uh, you can catch all the action on C103 and Good Guys Radio TV. Tom Bulls at Menford Ball Club. They're big, six foot four, six foot five. Those two players, uh, they impressed me greatly watching them tonight. But I think with the speed of uh, – and you heard about Coach uh, Nathan Copas talking about the three-headed monster – uh, Jackson Shoemaker, six foot four, junior. He had a nice night tonight. Bennett uh, Ka Kaiser, uh, six foot five, junior. He had another nice night. That third-headed monster. I didn't pick it up tonight, but uh, that's a, it's a good ball club. Memphis is, but I think with the speed um, of uh, North Adams, we're in all we're in all right shape. There we go. Good guys, Radio TV and C103. Special thanks to our two, our studio producer, uh, our producer director on Good Guys Radio TV, Mr. Brandon Rigdon, for uh, our. Uh, the inimitable Mr. Brett Spencer. I'm Don Bowles, wishing you a pleasant good evening as it's North Adams defeating Ironton 60 to 56, the final score. Chase Rothwell, our snappy tomato pizza, see whether player of the game. Have a pleasant evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we'll see you next time here on Good Guys Radio TV and C103.